And here we go again. I've made a huge mistake. But finally time for real strategy games. Silver. Soon to be gold. Soon to... I, d I actually don't know if it goes up to GM. I'm just kind of assuming. So here we are. Oh, we gotta... There's the mouse cursor. Let's see. Give me the goodies. Get the benefit. We roll once or just go with another sword. Take another sword. Go. Spear with a lump of coal. And a sword. I don't think the pyros win early. But. They heat up later. But of course I'm wrong. The coal did it. I think I'll go for the potion. Could re-roll, but I won't have enough anyways. But if I sell a rock... Yeah. There you go. Since they're only one... That'll work. A broom, a pan. No match. I am I am hitting with a sword, but I don't think the animation. <laughs> the poison. Actually, I'm starting to melt. That's a rough one. Got lucky. I think. When we needed it most. The wooden sword. What the hell? Lucky piggy. Wait, I haven't... I That was an accident. I didn't realize. Shop, enter, gain one. Start a battle, gain two. Chance based effects of the star items are more likely to trigger. Good to know. So, things like the garlic, I think. Yeah. Slap that down. Okay. Sure.
Because all he has is the hammer, though. Which, uh... Yeah. Should be fine. Not like I'm hitting particularly hard. Hmm. Bit dangerous. Ah, Sir Gubert. On sale. Weapons gain plus two damage and gain 16 block. There's also the healing one. I think we'll just go with the generic. I can stop them from combining as well, potentially. I think that'd probably be better. I don't have to be facing up, but and I could just make a super potion. All right, got six still. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Take another one of those. All right. A hammer with three piggy banks. Gonna hit pretty hard. Quite lucky as well. Do I win? That's what we're trying to judge. I think so. I think so. Though, it might come down to crits. He hit for 22 with a crit. He's out of stamina for a sec. But yeah, the healing. More space for activities. All right. Going to combine the shield. I was going to do that and then. I bought everything else. I can hold off. Uh, 
That'll do for now. Yeah. So, eight flames, two swords, a lot of damage, but no kickers. So just damage. I think I went against that because I have the spikes as well, but I'm not sure. Because I have a lot of regen. He does have two bananas. If it comes down to the fatigue, I might just lose. Because I don't have enough damage. That might end up being the decider. I don't have anything that scales. Hmm... I need Goobert to come through. Close. Another sword. I don't need another sword. I need more damage. I think we'll just take the dagger. And then we can do poison dagger. I don't want steel boobs. Just take the banana. Banana spinning is an important skill. Fifteen percent is not enough for me to care. Wait a second. My health potion. Mm. Sidelines. Just a hammer? I'll see. What's he doing with all these piggies? He's banking money. Pack. Always, New always good to bring one. Detected. Clone. Wait, what is this? So, thank you, Kabiji. This does something with my uh, gooby, I think. I think we're gonna do that. Blood gooby. Bit of a yikes for me, dog. Mm -hmm. 
berries. Throw that there. No, that's not gonna work. That's more like it. I'm debating. Where do the berries go? So useful. And the 3.5 second activation. I need to convert this and then we can move on. Once it's converted. Not ideal. By the power of capitalism, like and subscribe. What is that? The busted blade. Looks perfectly fun to me. Yeah, does he have the stamina to support all that? That's a big blade. No, is the answer. Where are my buffs? Removes a buff. Plus one damage for each buff you remove from your opponent. So the the chain. Wait. That's not the chain. On hit, 20% chance to remove a buff. It's got two of those gems. I guess you could slap a bunch of gems in it, is what's happening. Blood Gooby. Steal 10 life. Increase by one for each vampirism. So we're really leaning into that, which makes it convenient that the life binder is half price. thinking about the potion, but I need more space. I'm gonna get one of these. This one. Alright. Retool it. No, not down there. First thing first, these. Is it Gooby a, a nature? No. I don't know why I thought he might be, but. going to block one space, I think, no matter what. At least for now. That's okay. So, start a battle, gain one mana, and one regen for each nature item. The regen persists throughout, and then after five mana is used, you get heal and cleanse, but the, the regen is the important part.
All right. Food is nature, believe it or not. So. Technically, so, like, the spike as well. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I don't think the piggy bank is natural. It is not. flip that around it's less painful to do this yeah all right we're missing out on two but is there space for this yes no yes there should be just need to move some pieces around Bit inefficient. All but two. There. Yeah. What build are you going for? Blood this. What he's doing over there. The Bloodthorn Blade. With a bunch of regen so you never die. Except to... Like a lot of stacking damage over time. Usually seems to be the issue, but... So like, exactly what I'm dealing with here right now, but... Unfortunately, I don't have either of the pieces, so uh, it's becoming problematic. And then, it's taking quite a while to get there. And hurt it. There you go. Complaining does work. I want those. You know... I think part of the issue is that Gooby takes up so much space here. Oh wait, I have enough. Yeah, sell that. Jam this in. Drop it for a sec. Gooby is never an issue. Gooby is uh, too thick. A technical um concern oh what a what a symmetrical looking build over there too she's gonna run out of mana i mean uh stamina right because those take a ton or it looks interesting but it doesn't seem to be doing that much so the hunger blade um converts your regen to vampirism so regen one stack of regen gives you one heal every two seconds. Vampirism allows you to heal one per stack when melee hitting, which includes all your melee weapons. But it would even be better because this weapon attacks every 1.4 seconds instead of every two seconds. So 
instead of doing like 10 health every two seconds, I can heal 10 health on every melee attack, which is more. And then, um, potentially stacking higher. Fanny pick. Hmm. I think I can. Yeah. Actually. be still in the way here a bit but I still have I can reroll it no don't have space for the poison there we are on that I'm looking for the the whip here oh I still have my dagger in the not exactly what I was looking for but all right Ideally, the gloves would be on two different items, but we're out of space for activities. I'm gonna have to do an overhaul as soon as I get the vines. If I don't get the vines, well, we don't have the build anyway, so whatever. It's that sun armor. He's got a whole collection over here. Burning sword, burning banner. Pretty lit. 18 regen to my vampirism. So, <laughs> no one's dying. His regen is stacking, but and my vampirism isn't. I think he's slowly cleansing it with the pepper thing, I think. Huh. The regen keeps going up. Why was he regenerating so much? Every two seconds. Okay, okay. Uh, remove two buffs from your opponent and gain two regen. Ah, that's pretty good. And protects buffs from being removed. Interesting. Hmm, we need the vines. It's uh, getting a bit concerning. I'll take a carrot. If I just don't get it, then where does that leave us? <laughs> Disastrous.
The blueberry and the garlic looking thing. The garlic. Well, at this point, swap it in with the carrot. The blueberry can go. No, that was fine for the banana there. The gloves will speed it up. Honestly, the piggy bank is starting to become less valuable. <sighs> All right. If you click, it actually cancels it. I have a tendency to do too much high AP in battle starting. Feeling more lucky. I need to I look for a pivot. As soon as I pivot is when I'm going to find it. Obviously. So I just gotta convince myself I'm pivoting. Without actually doing so. Alright. Berries. Carrot. In order to increase the speed across the board here. These berries have no value there. Go like that. Do that. So, you get... When the berries activate and you have 10 mana, you Your get one luck, which gives you... Uh, hit chance. Wait, what does luck do? Oh, and crit chance when they're in the um, ranger bag thing. I think you juiced. 22 months, but I just don't do it. There it is. Alright, we got the whip to create the bloodthorn thing. It's been... It's quite late but <laughs> ah yes two four two one four five 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 nine 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 zero we meet again The Blood Harvester just takes up so much space. Alright, so now we gotta jam this in for at least one round. Which is, now this is the real struggle. Ah. It is technically a nature item. This is really going to make the stamina. You know, I could just remove one of these for a battle. Because... Is this not nature? It is, but... There, close enough. So, Bloodthorn itself is a nature item as well, conveniently. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can only trigger this ability once, but... Alright. Might eat this one. But... Now, after this round, I can just overhaul it. So, if I win this, it's great. If I don't win it, it's not as great, but... Because he's going to regen here in a moment, which is not great. I have one full life left, so... We'll be fine. Just one more than you need. All right. I'm not getting... It's too inefficient. All right. Oh no. I stacked him too high. Come down. We've gotten too far this time. All right. Put it here, then it won't overlap. All right. And then we can have the acorn color. Cool, cool, cool. And then. That'll go there for now. Actually, no. Health potion. I take it back. I forgot I had the other blood thorn. Alright. What about the gloves? Not gonna be banana. There we are. Ah, I see. What if we do that? Then we don't need that there. And boom. I think we'll just slap the other berries in. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Hmm. A super banana. There we are. Need more space. Thank you.
kind of a waste to have that and not use it for the actual speed. Hmm. I'm gonna use it for the weapon because I'm lazy. All this to die in one round. There's another whip there, but can I afford to? Stamina usage is already high. I'm not going for it. Honestly, I think it's time to let this go. Hmm. How am I generating spikes without this? Trick question, I'm not... One oh, never mind. I'm generating with this. All right, get rid of that. Bring this out, which I now realize there's nothing to put there, but good enough. All right, we put a lot of effort in. We overhauled everything. We got one life left. Time to make it all go to waste. I would have taken the hard thing if I had another turn. We made it! Hmm, I don't need two colors. I'm gonna take one of these. Can I move some pieces around? For another banana. Always good to have another banana. I don't have any space for this. I'm gonna reserve it. We're gonna try to make it work. I see another health potion as well, but... You know what? I'm jamming the banana in for now. Because we have enough berries, I should be able to generate the the clovers. Yeah, and that means the crit chance is now 90%. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, I don't even necessarily need all the clovers then. Because I'm generating them with the berries instead, but we're already running out of stamina. Let's see. Hmm. Barely any there. Well, survival mode, of course. Double down. And there we are. And here we are. I love it when a plan comes together. A Wolpertinger. How much? How much space do I have? I need space first. I I would consider the pineapple if I didn't feel like I would have to overhaul the entirety of my <laughs> um
I'm just trying to maximize the efficiency. The pineapple is great, but also gain one spike. The spikes increase the damage of the bloodthorn. Which is great. Alright, fuck it. about here yeah waste all my berries on it Find space. Uh, shit. I'm taking the the regen over the clovers. Give me space. I'll sell the clovers for the fanny pack at this point because I, I can generate them with the berries. Okay, 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 go. Yeah. Well, it takes a bit for crit chance to build, but we'll get there. What are those? Armored Courage Puppy. What? Armored Power Puppy. All right, then. Let's see. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure the blood gooby is necessarily paying off here. Just takes up so much space. Sorry, gooby. But, like... Yeah, I did 16 damage. And 18 healing, which I don't think is really... I'm not removing it now, but just thinking about it. It's far too late to make that sort of <laughs> core change. I have 15. Yeah, let's put this over here. What would this combine with? Oh yeah, super health potion, but I don't want vampiric. No, stop. I have plenty of money. It's like, hey. Hey, how about another bloodthorn? How about it? No. Uh, no, the build ain't broke. It's fine. It's fine.
Oh god, forgive me. Max the pineapple. Max spikes for the blood thorns. <laughs> Fine. Get me out of here. What the hell? That is the luckiest mother fancy fencing rapier with Max. <laughs> okay, wait. The flutes. What is this Pied Piper shit over here? Some genie lamps. And, uh, thank you, Endymion Drake. He is rich? Well, he keeps stabbing me right in the spikes. So... <laughs> that was nice. Well, actually, the spikes. 72 damage. I don't know why the combat log is always at, like, a different spot, but... 72 damage with Bloodthorn. He did 110, but I immediately healed. Like... All the way through it, so... <sighs> yes, but... Also, not again. Ah! One... More overhaul. <sighs> We're gonna have to drop some of the... We'll drop one on that. There's more space. Could I fit the gloves anywhere? That's not important. I was looking for the small space thing. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um. Doesn't solve that. But what if we...
Wait. Oh. <laughs> he comes back down. Like, if I overhauled where all the fanny packs and stuff were, at some point it's just too much. It's like the mental inertia is too high. Wait. Okay. So he has the phoenix. Two phoenixes. Does this mean I have to kill him three times? And a spear. Used. Okay. I don't know about this one. I've had trouble dealing with scaling pyros with this sort of build because they just outlast me and I can't heal through it. Like, is he going to come back for a third time? No, not this time. Not today. I live. Dun -dun -dun -dun. All right. to gold. Moving up. So, the build, honestly, I think most of the issue was the specifics were rough, but I just didn't get the build together for a long time. Like, like two or three rounds passed when I probably needed it in order to have a more comfortable game. All right. That'll do for now. I'm gonna throw the torch in. Why not? Something for damage early. Hello? Uh-oh. It's close. But the banana comes through. And he's out of stamina. Slap. Oh, come on. Well, if you only lose one, you do get it back at, like, what is it, round eight when you get your, uh, subclass? What have I done? I just slammed that. You know what? I was thinking about the piggy bank. It's probably a good move. But... A lot less thinking involved in this one, though. Tusk poker. Two weapons. I don't have... The only regen is the uh, banana. Am I going to get screwed? Okay, made it. Coming together. Yeah. We're just gonna save on this one. Not gonna bother. Yeah, not gonna be enough to do anything. Make a shape shape. 31 months. I'm glad you still enjoy. Oh, it's 
see. Numpical pan. Broom. I'm all about the grocery store build. Hmm. Perfect. And if it's on sale, it's well, that's effectively free. All right. Do I need to sell the torch? I don't need to. I'll just jam it in. No reason not to. It's only one cost. I can sell it for the same amount. So if it's on sale, you can sell it for the same amount that it costs. So essentially, you're not losing any money by buying it temporarily. But if it's not on sale, it sells for half. So. Yesterday's and the day before Twitch stream video. Sometimes Twitch has issues with it. They should be up eventually, but thankfully it's all being streamed on YouTube. The you uh the second channel command. Which has I, I'm streaming backpack battles in 1440p. You can see every one of the pixels. If you look very closely. Maybe a bit unnecessary, but... Yeah. The detail. <sighs> it's on sale. What happens when I combine... Not that. Are those the claws of attack? I think so, but I'd rather have the vampire gloves. Yeah. Not worth fucking around with right now. Alright. Quick overhaul. touch two bananas what an exciting day no i said no stop it it's probably a way to set it up so i can have both touching two but still play without buying the full version i believe there's a demo but the full version's like 11 bucks so what i, I was pretty confident and then i look back and I'm no longer nearly as confident. But then I look in the shop and it fills me with determination. Alright. Get rid of the torch. 
Get some of that. Thank you. Wow. Okay, I just don't want to do it. Banana spinning is a tried and true pro gamer pastime. I don't think this is gonna happen. Yeah. There's a fanny pack. That's exactly what we're looking for. For now. I'll take it. Have you a favorite class? I haven't... I've only played a bit of Reaper and I haven't touched Pyro yet. Which seems not necessarily the most complicated, but the most uh, unique of all of them. <laughs> I like the ranger, but I, I, I'm starting to, like, I'm doing the real sweaty gamer thing, which is I'm working out one build, seeing how far that can go, then gonna pick another build, you know. Gotta get your APM up. That's how I, I th after 14 years of StarCraft II, sitting there thinking does not really, everything grinds to a halt, if that makes sense. But, just like, this is like, essentially idling. It's like fidgeting, I guess. But for StarCraft play. Like, when, when I play other games, or StarCraft players play other games, and they're just, like, spamming APM, they're not trying to show off. That's just, like, feels weird to not be doing that. Like, no, they're not trying to impress anyone by doing useless actions. I'm always amused when I see those comments, though. Free magic orb. It is effectively free, Research isn't it? Confirmed. Automatically relayed. Thanks. Oh, potion seller, sell me your potions. To see more of it in the future. I don't have any berries to take advantage of the uh the luck. Thank you, Brand. The depth. So this is like super auto pets combined with Slay the Spire. It's removed a lot of the RNG. There is still RNG, but not nearly as much as like super auto pets. And has like the roguelike kind of depth, or roguelike rather, kind of depth of something like Slay the Spire. Cause like you go further, you get more options and you can combine the options like. But I think it's like two parts super auto pets and one part Slay the Spire. Pathfinder, uh, no, Beastmaster, but the Lifebinder gives you the regen. I already have a Bloodthorn, so it has to be Lifebinder, I think. Uh, 
All right, overhaul. Is the magic orb even useful? So it gives you a chance to activate when the items activate that you trigger, you get one mana. So the berry, if you have at least 10 mana, you gain one luck and the luck can increase the accuracy and then with the acorn color, the crit of your weapons. So essentially, it's just a quick way to generate that luck when you have berries. But I don't have any berries right now. So essentially, not really very useful. But there's no downside unless I don't have the space, really, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, I think, usually what it ends up being for. Let's get down here. Wait, I forgot about the life binder while I was doing this. The entire point of the overhaul was to set up the life binder because it was kind of a weird star pattern. The bloodthorn counts as a nature item, conveniently. hands. Until I get berries, I can't really do much there, I don't think. But... I'm trying to, so each different food item gives you 10% faster, like cooldown on food items nearby. And then the gloves give 20% faster. And that all works off everything else. I'm gonna have to drop one tick of it, I think, for now. Might as well use the lump of coal. I could sell, but there's nowhere to put it. Oh. Okay, fine. Yeah, I start with 10 regen. The bloodthorn converts the regen into vampirism and spikes. So while attacking, not just, like, as a passive. The vampirism steals health on attack as opposed to being a passive region, so once it gets high enough, it becomes significantly better. Unfortunately, he's taking my buffs with the banner, and my auto-attack damage is not huge, so... Uh, and when he steals the buffs, he gives himself regen. And this has completely screwed my build multiple times now, and I don't know how to deal with it, really. <laughs> like, it, it's kind of rare, because you just randomly... So the way it works is you face essentially a snapshot of another player who is on the same round. I don't think it can be yourself in a previous game, but, like, I assume they played within, like, the last day or so. Um... So it is PvP, but, like, against whatever that person's build was at that round. There's the berry. 
A heart container. You know what? I'm gonna drop this for the heart container here. And maybe I can work that out. I want to I want to have the uh gloves with it, but for now we're just going to save I still got All right. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is an interesting one. There's also the dark saber, of course. I don't think it works for the ranger very well most of the time, but... Okay. Use 10 mana and become invulnerable. Uses my mana. <sighs> this is quite expensive for this layout. gonna try it all right overhaul life binder We can work out where to put the fanny pack based on this, I think. So, I want to figure out the gloves. Hmm. If I'm willing to drop one, which I think I am, we can double up. You know... I could make this the fastest regening. What is its effect again? Every three seconds, gain one regen. So double fanny pack. And so it should be 40% faster. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. See if that makes any sense. I have my doubts. to waste the banana. You can go in this corner. I lied. This is perfectly fine. And then berry. Carrot. Garlic. Did I lie again? Who would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? If 
I had another berry, that's where I'd put it, but for now. Hmm. Shit. nearly enough space too many bananas I think until I get the upgraded cap Give it a shot. Let's see how much regen. No cap, no cap. Let's see how much regen I can get to. So, every 1.88 seconds. And then, then the uh, gloves activate, or the bloodthorn activates and converts it to vampirism as well. Is what's happening. It's the it's the heart to blood pipeline. The artery, if you will. Mm. Any pick? Before I get too locked into the potion thingy. Problem is I do need that space. Could I get another fanny pack on it? I don't think that's necessary or ideal. I could. Like. On the edges, but. Unfortunately, the garlics are right next to each other. Classic mistake. We can definitely do this better. Okay, I got it. I got it. Just one moment. We'll get there. We can get this with enough space for the cap. Yes, but also not nearly ideal. I'm wasting the fanny pack on two. Because uh, it doesn't get a double benefit unless it's in two different fanny packs. It only has to be in one slot. So ideally... Bananas. Driving me bananas. I have 10 gold. What do I do? I 
I see that potion. Not bothering with it right now. There. Ah, ah. Ah. Hmm. Oh, shit. It's friendly fire. Chili gooberts. He doesn't have a burning banner, though. The burning banner screws me. Everything else, I think, is m manageable. Can you triple the fanny of the heart? Yeah, you could, but I feel like that's maybe uh, at the point of diminishing returns. Because it's all right, like, at that point... Another 10% only lowers it by like 0.15 seconds or something. Hmm. The glowing crown helping out. Hell, Thank you, Immortal V. Time. Acorn color for sure, yeah. Yeah. Gives you crit chance as opposed to just accuracy. So I should be able to max out the crit chance. Mm. I'd like the jet. I'm. I don't have any gems to put in the uh, bloodthorn right now. That could really be the play. I'm gonna buy it. I think now's the time to go for that, too. The cap. Yeah, maybe I get the gem I need from it. Okay. We'll see. That's the one way to upgrade without adding new weapons, is to get especially the gems. He's got the double X, which seems to be very popular for the Berserkers. It hits real hard. Okay, okay. Big round. I don't have enough space for the second heart. Look at that gem. Life steal or healing is amplified by 25%. Either way, paying off immediately. I think healing is amplified. Because life steal is just a worse version of that, right? Like, uh, depending on how much like vampirism you have. And then your opponent's healing is reduced. I like that too. Okay. I need this. So I'm gonna... I only have one berry. Do I drop a clover? That's a hard one. I could sell the gem. could sell the cap. Cap is very helpful if I get the... Oh, wait, just sell the coal. Yeah. yeah. Done. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice one round without the, the full benefit there, but... So we can get the vampire gloves. Okay. What is that? Oh, okay. He's got triple piggy bank for one. Oh, which works really well with the flames. Uh, the mana thirst. 20 mana gain, steal 10 life. Okay, so it isn't stealing my mana. The chili goobert. So there's a lot going on there. The draconic orb. Remove one spike. Oh, this is like an anti-ranger build. Oh, that's mean. 
I don't think he has that much damage, though. Uh, friendly fire. Well, I mean, we'll see. It, it might get to the point where I just can't get anything going. Like, and he just gets so much regen and such that I, I can't, like, I keep going up against the big buff pyros. And I can't get it done. Did he just hit me with 80? Yeah, the 100 damage from the friendly fire. I just can't, like, I can't kill him. He keeps rescaling. Would you die? If he gets to another 80, I will probably die to the... Okay. So he didn't have much damage, but he wouldn't fucking die. But I held on. My regen was good enough. But if he had gotten to, like, 160, I think his friendly fire would have triggered again, done 100 damage. But at the end, I was doing... Uh... Vampirism. Yeah, the heal... By the end was... Oh my god, the log. 400. Pretty good. And uh, the glowing crown coming through. Honestly, I think on sale, a pretty solid pick. Maybe if it's not on sale, it's a bit, it's a, it's a strong maybe. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, five mana gained. Gained four block. I don't think that's that important. I'm probably just going to grab this. For the sake of space at this point. What do we got here? Lifesteal, healing. Yeah. Throw it in. And three banana. You can get the garlic. Put that over there. Oh, another berry. So value. And, uh, there's the corruption crystal. I'm gonna reserve that for next row. Or I could get it right now. No, no, no. It takes a full round to... <sighs> that goes right now. We're gonna reserve these for next round. as many berries as possible in order to generate mana but i'm gonna start the turn so i get one mana and one regen with the life binder uh yidrasil leaf but how many stars one two three four five six seven eight nine i could have all ten right off the bat um if i rearranged which i probably should do so that way the berries Every single time, every 3.5 seconds, well, actually much quicker than that because it's got the food bonus. If I have 10 mana, I gain a clover instead. So, the clovers work with the acorn color, which not just increases the accuracy, which is the hit rate, which a lot of things modify that. It starts at like 90% or something, but there's a lot that turns it up or down. Um, but instead, also the crit rate. Um, which, because of the ranger bag and the acorn collar, increases the crit on my weapon to so the point, like, once you get, like, five or six of them, it's near 100%. So, that is why mana is useful. Even if I'm not using mana, the berry converts it into, uh, crit. What in- okay, wait. The fuck? Carrot Uber cleanse three random debuffs and gain two empowered. Squirrel steals a random buff. Hedgehog. Wait, and it's got four food. I have no idea how this one is gonna go. There's a bunch of squirrels. I'm not. Oh no, the squirrels are gonna eat all my buffs. I don't know how this is gonna go. I that wait. Do they even have any weapons? Hedgehog deals ten damage. No, it's just a bunch. Of, you have to steal all my buffs. They're just gonna steal all my buffs. I, I, like the hedgehog is the only 
Hedgehog and rat are the only actual damage, and they're not even... Okay, well, I have no idea. Well, this is odd. He's stealing my spikes, and I keep hitting my spikes now. Uh-oh. This seems bad. <laughs> hmm. But... 24 spikes. 26. I'm generating them faster than the squirrels can steal them, though. Oh my god. And my luck, too. I may die to my own spikes. It's gonna be very, very, very close. Oh, well that's some shit right there. I don't know if that would- like, that feels like a very, like, strong maybe build. Like, if I wasn't doing that exact build... <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's not something I, I feel like I'm gonna try to emulate. Anytime soon. <laughs> Don't pineapples do spikes? I think he was generating them and stealing them, is what was happening. Yeah, this could be over here. Does the acorn collar need to be in that spot? No, it doesn't. So we could put a berry there. It should help trigger this. And that would give more mana, which works with everything else. I'm not in love with that setup, but... Need another carrot. Oh no, not a pineapple. I say oh no, because... <sighs> Let's see. That's gonna take some... How much to sell this? Three... I could get the other vampire gloves here. Yeah, like I could reset and move the heart around and stuff. That's it's it's the the inertia is too strong. Uh, this isn't the ideal one. Uh, maybe a bit of poison, whatever. Can help you potentially stack other debuffs, I guess, but. Eh, yeah, why not? Because, like, there's some cleanses and stuff that... What the f... Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> He's got the heart of the cards. Deck of cards. Start of battle. Revealing. The fool. Reverse. Reflect three debuffs. Steal 11 life. Ace of spades. Lovers. Ace of spades. White eyes, blue dragon. Ace of Spades, the Lovers, and the White Eyes Blue Dragon, Hollow Fire Lizard. I honestly, I I have no idea. I got Um. So the cards get revealed like one per second and start affecting the battle. But, yeah, card no match for sword. <gasps> Your dedication will be Thank you, uh, Boner Patrol. Glad, glad you still enjoy. No. Hmm. 
You know, this one I could find some value in, I think. The speed bird. We're at round 16. There's nowhere else to put these. What is this? Armor again? Eh. Sure. Why not? Okay. Oh, this chat. This looks like a real build over here. Oh shit! Real meta looking build. The X with the gloves and the uh, boots with the fur. Yeah, the battle rage. Damn. Hey, <laughs> shit. Ow. Dealt 97 damage, 63 damage. Like, I'm doing 20 crit. I, I deal damage with spikes. Was he stripping my spikes? Wait, why did I only do 4 damage with spikes? Is that early on? No. Shouldn't it have been more than that? Um. Hmm. A 200 armor from Battle Rage? Yeah, he has like an entire... Look at this! Oh my. Yeah. DLS due to Battle Rage reducing it? Of course it does. <laughs> We're on round 17, so... I don't know what I'm looking for when I do this. Another fanny pack. Another heart. You know? Sure. Just throw it in there. Just the question is, uh, where? You know... I'm gonna try just boosting the hearts here. I could rearrange all the- ah! Round 17. This berry need to be here. <sighs> here, throw that one in. One more round after. What the hell? Is oh, what? Omega Ooze Prime Slime. What does that do? Six item activations. <laughs> Heal for 20. What? Gain 20. Uh, 20 block. Two vampirism. Inflict four blind and four poison and give weapons plus four damage. All right. Well, that, yeah. He starts with 69 block, which feels intentional. Um, that seems bad. We'll see if the Prime Slime is strong enough. That seems like a lot of stats very quick. And it's charging pretty quick. Look at it go. Uh, I'm, I'm getting hit so hard. Holy shit. What the fuck? Where, did, where do you get a Omega Ooze Prime Slime from? I 
I have no... They must have cheated or something. Yeah, I agree, potion seller. <sighs> you know what? Five different color oozes. So he had five goobies? That's a ridiculous number. You make a plus with them. All right, let's just play it out. Either way, like, I'm... Even if I lose, I still made it through, so... But, ideally... Okay, wait. Before I get stabbed too hard. Fancy fencing rapier. Is that... Like... Does that cover... It feels like it's outside... Oh, I think that's just the animation right now. Yeah, yeah, it's just it activating. It looked like it was larger than the... All right, corrupted armor. Holy items are also dark. Sun armor. A lot of trickle-down potions. There's a dagger. It doesn't look that bad. Molten day. There's a lot of stuff going on. Sun armor. It doesn't look that bad. Steals buffs. Prioritizing regen. No, the heart of darkness. Well, that's a lot of shields. Yeah, yeah, eh. The stealing of the buffs is problematic. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. It, this might be one of those where they just outscale me. Especially like in jet, well, gonna be close. He doesn't have any like the Phoenix stuff. Uh, I I get too many buffs. Too many buffs. He got there. Survival. Moving up. A bit dicey. All right. We're gonna try to get the platinum. And then go for, uh, Pyro, which is the most different class, I think. All right. Banana. Piggy bank that. Free beat. Neither of those are really activatables. Eh, go. Too bad this still won't launch for me. Do you, do you not have a phone? Do you not have phones? I don't know if you can play this on phone. You can play it on Steam Deck, though. It's pretty sick on Steam Deck. Obviously makes more sense than playing it on PC, to be honest. I got my 4080 so I can play backpack battles. All right. That's essentially free there. Honestly, the shield I'm kind of torn on because the shield takes up so much space so early. It's helpful, but it feels like it. it's just hanging out there the whole time and it, it reduces a lot of value it, later on it just doesn't pay off and it, i never know when to sell it well i should be able to re-roll well and if i don't have the spike i'm not getting it like the spike combined in the spike shield 
Don't talk to me. All right. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't come by. I don't, don't want that. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think... Is it worth it, though? So, it takes up the same amount of space, and it's just better. Okay, never mind. I take it back. It's worth it. Lucky piggy it is. It t it's the same thing, except it takes up less space and extra benefits. Fine. I've sold myself on it. Go ahead, you enjoy the videos. All right. But as an aging nerd, this is about my AP. <laughs> I don't know. I do like, I like this game is Super Auto Pets plus Slay, like two parts Super Auto Pets, one part Slay the Spire. All right. And one part Team Fight Tactics. Except it, it has a ranked ladder and the RNG is significantly less than like even something like Team Fight Tactics or Super Auto Pets because that the, there's a lot of strategy in the timing of everything. It's very controlled RNG compared to them. This is a chill game? Do you know how stressful this is? You know what I hate? Traveling. You know what you have to do when you travel? Pack. Usually a backpack. Especially like, I've gotten better recently in my advanced age about like packing my backpack so it's not annoying to carry around an airport which is a real skill like uh <laughs> not even close Calculated. Would it both heal so much to draw? Can't happen because of fatigue damage. Fatigue damage is after 15 seconds, you start taking more and more fatigue damage over time, which just, it just keeps going up. Both sides. There are a few modifiers to it, but it's mostly a both sides will take it kind of thing. I've never gone for this full piggy bank build. All right, I'll roll once. Oh, a fanny pack. Perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. That whetstone on sale as well, but I don't have... I'll reserve it, just in case. Uh, fine. What the? Yeah, technically the backpack doesn't have to be connected. Which, this is an odd way to do it, but like... And in fact, that is... Okay, so... This is actually kind of dumb, because he has a piggy bank, which gives you extra health at the start of battle when you have start of battle items. And clovers are start of battle items. So, even if he might win this round, um, it would have been a lot better to have these connected and have the clovers down there for more HP. Yeah. But hot Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I will never drink Dr. Pepper again. Uh, I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. 2013. 28 years ago, MLG Providence, um, Rhode Island. Yes, it's a real state, but it's not a real island. MLG for StarCraft 2. Uh, yes, that's how long ago it was. I, I went there, and MLG was sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Right? And they were giving out free Dr. Pepper. All throughout, just going out, like, like handed out Dr. Peppers. The entire, by the day, like, second or third day, the floor was like an eighth of an inch of Dr. Pepper. Alright? 
I drank like 12 Dr. Peppers in the course of like two days. Um, everything smells like Dr. Pepper. I have not drank Dr. Pepper since that weekend ever again. That, that day or that event successfully got me to never, ever drink. I never want to, I don't even look at Dr. Pepper. Like, never again. Way too much. Never again. It's been it's been 28 years since 2013. I have not drank any Dr. Pepper. I don't really drink any, like... I don't drink any soda, really. But if I had, like, if you put me... Like, I'll drink a Sprite. I'll have, like, a Coke Icy. But never. Like, you're like, here's a literal free Dr. Pepper. No. No. That's all I have to say about that. You couldn't pay me to drink Dr. Pepper. I mean, depends. <laughs> but then we'd have to have a negotiation. I'd probably do what I do with Raid Shadow Legends, which sends me an email about every month from, I assume, a mailing list where I say $10,000, okay? I'll tell you this right now. I don't usually make $10,000 of sponsorship, but if you ever see me promoting Raid Shadow Legends, which I'm kind of doing right now, so it is a bit ironic, you know it was worth it. They never respond. And then they send me a different spam email from a totally real person once a month. Give or take. Do I go for the... I mean, it's free, so, like... Taking the gloves. I need space. What I'll have to do for now. Oh, I don't adjust it. I've been I've been sending him that. I, I'll admit I don't respond to everyone, but every occasionally I do. Um, since like 2019 or so. So I have not raised the rate. Maybe eventually in 10 years that'll be a reasonable. <laughs> This is not going well. I blame Dr. Pepper. I'm not sure how they're involved. Need more space. I don't think I can do another piggy bank here. I'm taking the free. I can get the uh, upgraded health potion, I think. Give me that. Give me that. I, I wouldn't mind the gems. I think it might be time to get rid of the piggy bank here. The second one, that is. I need to I need to have a pivot, I think. If I don't get anything by the next round, like if I don't get the the blood thorn thing. 
then we're gonna try to pivot and probably fail, but... We'll see. goes oh wait you might want those gloves good point because that's the gloves of attack one right that might be the pivot i don't know i don't actually have another plan I need to look up the end game builds. I think there is some value in just looking up like, I don't know where you'd find besides like YouTubers and their clickbait titles, like screenshots of the final builds of players. I think you could do that. Like an SC2 replay stats, but for backpack battles. I think you, you could get a lot of value out of just looking at like what the, or at least like the round 12 build or something is for a certain class. Well, there's the whip. So, what does the whip itself do? On hit, gain one spikes. And we have a chipped ruby. <sighs> Get rid of this trash. You know what? I throw it all in the trash. What is the attack speed? Quite long. We're gonna use the fanny pack with it. Oh, <laughs> it takes so much space. This is why I usually convert it. Is there no chance to do anything? All right, well. Mm. Just gonna double up on that. all the food jammed in somehow. It's not nearly enough space. Is there? Come back down here. We'll just jam that for now. Ah! Um. Oh yeah. This could just be a better health potion. This whip takes up so much space. I mean... No, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not in love with this.
do the gems, sock it into something that combines. Uh, I think if the item combines, the gems pop off, but the gems combining just combines them in the item. But you can just move the gems around, like they're not locked in. Which I very much like. By the way, I hate stuff like that. Like, you know, now I have to think about exactly what this gem could be used for for the whole goddamn game. All right, now we'll lock. Where is my hunger blade? You see, these will combine here. Hunger blade. Space works. Bananas. That's an interesting setup. Yeah, the present. I got the present once, and I just kind of won the game. I kinda, it feels a bit like... Like, even if you don't get exactly what you want, you get more than enough. Like, in two rounds, I was easily crushing everything. The loot box strat. Pay to win. Pay for the present, win the game. I think we just go for the life. Like, there's no reason... Well, with this, how about spikes, okay? Spike gained and flicked poison. None of them are on sale. Is this the pivot? Let's try it. I'm trying something, so might as well. I'm buying it. Fucking. <laughs> well. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but can I sell this and get the other one? Wait, like, that wouldn't do anything, would it? Do I make two gold back? No. That doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm hurt myself here. Either way, uh, first thing, throw all that trash out. Yeah, that the real RNG is like, you'll win maybe one or two more rounds based on getting things one or two rounds earlier, but... Usually you can kind of force a build, but ideally you have the ability to pivot. Okay. So we're going to prioritize having the poison ivy where it's needed. In fact, we're going to put that gem in there. You know what? I've got to wait around, I think. Because right now, um, yeah, we're just going to be once once the whip is out of the picture here. It's gonna be a lot easier to figure out what the fuck is going on. But for now, it's a bit of a disaster. As I put my grocery shelf together. And the fanny pack is just kind of wasted over there. Because of course it is. Thank you. 
I need more space for activities. <sighs> We're not bothering with... Wait. Okay, so... Spike gained. Inflict two poison. Opponent reaches 19 poison. They take plus 20. So I do want this gem. This gem gives you a chance to inflict more poison. So that would be good. Obviously. And I need more space. Monkey's paw curls. <laughs> Technically... <laughs> So, this is a chance-based effect. I don't know if that works with the Lucky Piggy. Oh. Either way, all right, fine. this wait what is that cursed dagger inflicts two random debuffs this and star items have accuracy and crit i don't think that's too dangerous right now so the poison i i don't know about this one i guess the resistance to poison really helps against the reaper specifically like resist debuffs oh wait whoa, whoa, whoa. All debuffs. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 40% chance to resist all debuffs. Okay, all right. Okay. For some reason, I was affiliating it with poison. But it's all debuffs. Which is actually pretty sick. All right. Gloves. Over. Reroll. Base. Honestly, the boots, maybe. They're on sale. I can always just sell them for the same price. So, buying things on sale is almost always worth. We're gonna put that in there. Throw that out. Alright. And now time to make the final build. Like, from here, it should just be, like, uh... Like, um, extra on top, but right now I think we have the full trajectory. And technically, I could get this done with. Um, what am I saying? Full life. If we go into survival mode with five health. in the bag. That was intentional. I don't have to have this here. Let's see. Oh, we could just move it down. All of it. Do the banana arc here. 
banana redemption arc. Okay. <laughs> so, these are the gems. Put in there. Put this in the corner for now. Or else it knows what happens. Mm, I think better to have the berry as like a centerpiece. Because it, it combines with everything. I think now that we look at this, this can go here. You have the berry there. And combine. And we'll fill in. I can get another piece of food probably, but for now, just fill these. going to do with the piggy bank. Hmm. The only thing that really is chance-based, I don't think it's too important to have. I'm not convinced it works with the uh, poison thing. I can put it right here. star lights up. Yeah, it doesn't light up for that. Honestly, 10% speed is not that big a deal on the weapons. Because they already attack so fast. So, let's try... doing I got full stacks yep but there's no getting around that too complicated I liked the symmetry before. It made it easier to use my brain. Now it's a disaster. I don't think 15% chance on that is going to make or break. So. I know there are other layouts to work with here, but... Mm. That looks dumb. 
Do I not have an armor? Oh, opponent's healing. There we are. Yeah. All right. No, come back. So if this is not going to be used on anything, might as well do that. The boots are straight up, which looks right. Do the garlics look better if they're face up? I think so. No, I take it back. Nice. Done. Now time to get dunked on. I guess, but, uh, after all that. Eh. This was like, like, that was the, now I have all the pieces of the build and I'm just filling in extras. So. That's where we were and why, like, I was doing that. I'll take this face and it's on sale. No, 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 no. Combine with the other thing. There. And a piggy bank? Wait, wait, what is the luck? I could get another lucky bank. Convenient. Cool. Alright. Yeah. Can you explain the build? Yeah, it's okay. I, I... So. It revolves around the blood thorn. The Bloodthorn uses one regen to gain vampirism and one spike. The spike does damage. Uh, you get extra damage on the Bloodthorn the more spikes you have. And vampirism is uh, on melee hit, you get however many stacks of vampirism. You have 10 stacks. Every time you slap them, you get 10. So generally better than regen. Um, ideally, I would have had the, the Life Binder, um, Yudrasol Leaf. But I didn't have the Bloodthorn until after I picked the subclass. So I went with the Pathfinder one, which has Poison Ivy. Tasty. Uh, which gives you a chance to resist debuffs. And when you gain spikes, which remember you get by hitting with the Bloodthorn, um, you do poison damage. And then that stacks over time. The resisting debuffs, I think, is better. And then, so we'll put everything into the Bloodthorn. We've got the Vampiric Gloves, which give vampirism and speed everything up. We've got as much regen as I've been able to put together, which is mostly just these for now. Honestly, the regen really sucks. It's just not... That's why the vampirism gloves are kind of important. And then the rest is just, like, staying alive. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> and then the Bloodthorn eventually both killing them with spikes and, uh... Yeah, I should just put that there. So it comes down to the Bloodthorn keeping me alive and slowly chipping through. Which, the ideal is I end at the same health I began. And by the end, yes, Bloodthorn did most of it, but... It's all about sustainability. Definitely take the carrot here. Another banana? Is there space? I think so. What do we have here? Eh, I don't think that's... I may go for... We could... 
combine the uh, gems on this one as well. I need more space. Yeah, yeah, roll for space. Hmm. The pineapple is... Definitely... Oh, I gotta make the pineapple work. I thought I was done. But the pineapple actually is huge. Because the pineapple generates spikes. All right. Fuck. Uh. I don't want to overhaul the whole thing. No, I'll put that away. I'm gonna put it here and play off that. We'll let the gloves help trigger it. Mm, not waste one of the slots. I need a berry. There it is. Very good. Do I use my other... Well, I already used the other berry here. If I could find one more berry. So the vampiric gloves increase the uh, speed by a lot later on. Ah, this, this removes my poison ivy spaces. It also, it takes up so much space in general. I have two of these lucky piggy banks. I need more space. I'm gonna roll once. I don't have the acorn collar, so the lucky piggies are not that good. could just sell gem. Wait, I only have one to sell. <sighs> also, I actually do really want the reduced healing gem. That's really good. I'm thinking of selling the potion. Or, you know, I have my gems. I can sell the gem box. Like, I have what I'm going to put in the blood thorn here, and I have these two. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see here. We need a combination space as well. You know what? Here. Um... Right, that's that's <sighs> gotta be careful with my bananas. Fall poison ivy. I <laughs> just gotta find the piggy bank space. That's uh optimistic. It feels like it's either going to be piggy bank or potion. So 
switch one slot with the fanny pack. Wait, that doesn't solve my particular problem, but... Okay, wait. If only these were nature items. There's just not the space for it right now. This is not needed to be there. That doesn't free up enough space either. Pigs, uh, these are not pigs. These are uh, piggy bags. Distinct difference. I'm gonna give up one pineapple slot. In order to free up that. Poison Ivy full, pineapple missing one slot. Yes, I could eventually get a berry there. We could switch these out. Wait, no. I'm maxing the pineapple. Is what's going on. We can get one of the piggy banks. Another piggy bank. Nope, fuck it. Piece of shit. This leaves us with the original issue of not being able to uh, combine the gems. I think we just have to drop a piggy bank for a round, is what's happening. Wait, no. We have to drop one of those for a round. Good? Huh? Good. Yeah. It's not, not great, not terrible. Got about as much as I could get out of that. Unfortunately, I got the pineapple so late in the game. If I had gotten the pineapple before the bloodthorn, or near it... Oh god, this guy is so... Oh no, he's doing so much so fast. And he's got the phoenix, so even if I kill him, it's not really... He comes back, but with more damage! Ah! Yeah, my god. That's gotten me... The pyros seem to be... Believe it or not, the pyros burning through all my plants and fruits seems to be a reliable counter and now I got another berry here which of course I did Hail. thank you chosen spark <sighs> I'm gonna take the poison Flask here. I'm gonna give it the free trickle down. This seems more manageable. Especially since he's poison based and I'll resist it. So the reason the pyro is so good is right now I have a ton of resist for debuffs. But the pyro takes my buffs and buffs themselves. So I'm good against people who are trying to hurt me. But I'm not so good at people who uh, pump up themselves. Hmm. Stamina potion, if I had the space, I think I could make the space. <sighs> no, I... 
Well... <laughs> Not another pine- I can't do another pineapple. Mentally, I cannot do another- Well, I just found the space for one. Alright, take the damn pineapple. We're gonna... The boots have to stay. I'm dropping one of the piggy banks here. It just ain't happening. It's another mental inertia thing. Okay. Fanny pack. Wait. Everything hit. Mm -hmm. Resubscription confirmed. Automatically relaying. Thanks. Any GM yet? Working on it. Okay, okay, wait. The hell is that? Crit wood staff. Use four mana to deal seven damage for the next one seconds. All your attacks are critical. I assume he's going to have that mana most of the time. He's got a bunch of rats and the squirrels, which steal my buffs, and mana thirst, which gains one mana. I think it should go pretty well. Like, this is a bit all over the place. I should do okay, I think. Yeah. Like, he doesn't ramp up before I, I get the damage done. Survival mode! Of course. <sighs> hmm. I could make this, like, this would be helpful. I'm buying it. We'll make it work. I just have to figure out where to put it. I might drop another pineapple in order to... Honestly, anywhere I put it's gonna be good. We gotta move the berries here. Wait, why are you facing that way? What about here? Gets triggered by that. Oh my. That'll do. <laughs> Good enough. What, what is this doing? Is there a space somewhere? Yes. Duh. Ah, yeah. Do I have value for this? Just for the put now. All right. Oh shit! He's got the build. This is well. Does he have everything? He's got he's got five gems in that fucking X. 
Um, every three seconds, use two lux to gain random buffs. It's probably bad for me. This, the axe just starts hitting so hard. Maybe if I can survive and get a bunch of, uh, stacks of spikes and poison. Like... Yeah, okay. Cool beans. Now we have this... this... bunny. I want it. Is it nature? It is nature! Alright. Okay. I've got one space. The Wolpertinger increases stamina regen for every buff you have, which would be nice if I had more weapons, but also gains three of the buffs you have least of. So... Um... Is not pineapple not better in from the edge? So, there's something that I call mental inertia, which is, I could min-max it every round. But, I'm more likely to make a mistake trying to fix it, the, and get frustrated and just start anyways, than I am to have it be slightly less than perfect. Like... <laughs> so, that's where we are. Like, I've reached the point where min-maxing each item is, is not going to get it done anymore. <laughs> Thing. Do I have anywhere to put the corruption crystal? Not exactly. Another carrot. I think a carrot is better than a garlic and eh, right here? Yeah. Roll for space, I guess. Okay. Honestly, the cap is probably it. If I can get a corruption crystal. I have almost max space. Oh, the heart container. Wait. No. Fuck. Too late. Too much space to take up. Oh, I can just jam that. For I don't know why I was holding onto it, but... Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Dark Saber. Deals damage for each debuff on your opponent, which I should counter pretty well. I have cleanse random debuffs as well as debuff resistance. So, actually, I should be quite well off against exactly this. Because most of the damage... Yeah. It's gonna be debuff versus... Yeah, I think I should be pretty good against this. We'll see. Because I'm constantly cleansing. The, the po po poison's starting to stack up, but like... Blind is the issue, but... Yeah. I have, um... The berries generate clovers, which 
increase accuracy, which negate the blind, is what ends up happening. So, always eat your carrots. I could jab another hunger. Another one of these. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh no. Uh <laughs> uh okay so <laughs> there's a, there's a way to do it but Is that max space? Indeed. Do I get any value from it? Well, now I don't have the block. The little tiny bit of block. Is every berry I have valuable? Yeah. I already am using a potion belt. We're able to make some space for the items. and see if there's anything. How much do these sell for? Ah! I might take the spikes in a different scenario, but... Put that there. But why, though? You know what? Five mana get now that's actually kind of valuable. I could use one less space. I already have one armored space. Just just let it go, bro. 
All right. Ah, uh, yes, the piggy chances. <sighs> Off I go, then! What is that going on with the sword? The fuck? Wait, what the fuck is that? The cross blades? The weapon gains 10 damage. And... The item, the brass knuckles trigger faster. This looks bad, but I'm building up, and he's devolving. Yeah. Oh, it's very close, but, but we get there. All right, final round. The acorn collar. Wow. Just in time. And a poison potion. Honestly? Yeah, well we want the acorn collar. <laughs> but it has to be <laughs> next to the... Alright. You should probably rethink the attack. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna get one more poison potion over one more garlic. And I'm not bothering to put it in the fucking poison. Wait. Hey! Yeah, I just need to redo one more time. Stupid ass potion. Shut up, potion seller! No. Get me out of here. I know what I'm doing. What in the fuck is this? The light goobert. He's got squirrels, rabbits, and gooberts to go with his rapier. Ah, uh, the squirrels are gonna steal all my buffs. I don't know how this goes. But I'm debuffing him way harder, I think. Like, the poison is stacking. He has no cleanse for the poison, so... Um, well... It's close. We got there. The second poison flask may have made the difference. Yeah. That was a mess, though. All right, we're getting a plat. Do I try a non? Well, they're on sale, so. It'd be like losing money not to buy them, if they're on sale. Alright, that's what my mom always says. Alright, Joann's is having a sale. Very important. I haven't really made the bow work. I've had a lot less success. The bow is backwards. How will they aim?
<sighs> so wait, wait, it's the, uh, what, the tusk piercer, which, use one. I'm not, wait, no, 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 it's tusk poker. Chance to gain spikes. I'm okay with that one, I think. If I reroll, it's almost guaranteed to be a, uh... Mm -mm. Space, right? I should have a four space. And always, like on the second one. Okay, we'll try it. The banana's there, but I can't afford it. It's not on sale. I only buy bananas when they're on sale. Or if I have the money. <laughs> But yeah, I don't see a reason to be um, selling right now to get a banana. Oh, chili goobert. This is going to be close. Neither of us is really doing any damage, but I think I, I come out ahead. Your dedication will be rewarded. Are we friends now? I think that's how it works. Okay, so, spike steel damage per stack. <laughs> Quick rearrange. I'm not gonna get too tied into the piggy bank being super min-maxed, but... Oh, I wanted the gloves to be applying. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was doing that. I mean, I could have a full piggy bank either way. I don't know why I'm getting all fancy with this. Yeah. There. There's no reason to be worried about the whetstone. It's probably a slightly better layout, but moving on. One benefit of the bow is, so what, I don't know what an endgame bow looks like. I know there's like the bloodthorn, but. The bloodthorn is not a bow, believe it or not. Another short bow. I think I'm just gonna sell off the swords. I'm not gonna have the stamina for both. No, needs to be a bow on either side of that. So just move that there. There you go. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the uh, rest of the bow recipes are. Does another whetstone do anything? It adds damage, but like... 
Let's see how it goes. It's weird to have space. Do not become accustomed to it, for you will resent its absence. Hmm. The hammer takes so much stamina. And two hammers. Well, the other hammer doesn't take any. It's just this one. Too heavy. Hmm, there we are. El Goobert. Have I achieved every possible goob combo? No. Goobert makes builds so complicated. I think the other ones are Carrot and uh, Poison Goobert as well, right? Open pack, but that's what I mean, like, it's gonna make it so complicated. <laughs> Cheese Goobert? I can't. I can't. It's too much. Chili Goobert. Wait, wait, it only shows five here, but there's. I've definitely seen more. Like, wait. Carrot and rainbow. Oh, is this like only for Ranger? Ah, I didn't see this drop down until this moment. Ah, so everybody has their own flavor. Ah, so these are the only flavors of goob I can get. Uh, it's not on sale. All right. If it was on sale, maybe. This is how I determine. Whether I need to make hard decisions. The shield, not on sale. The dagger is free. I mean, I'll get the platinum. Well, I can get a. Ah. You make fool. Lucky piggy. I'm not bringing the card. The card seems like spending money to spend money. Kind of like a sign up for a rewards program. I gotta... Interesting. It looks bad though. I don't have enough regen. Close, but yeah, Bloodthorn or not Blood Hungry Blade rather. Pre Bloodthorn. I still don't really have any. We should start kind of narrowing down soon. I'm taking the space. I'm taking more gloves. Don't love it. Hell. 
thank it's you. About time. Much love. Feels like a waste to have two of them next to each other, not maximizing the bonus. Okay, wait. This. Ah, there we are. The piggy has a chance to trigger chance based. And I actually found an opportunity to use it. How convenient. I still have these two whetstones here. Okay. What is that? Hero longsword. That's when you just keep slamming whetstones into the sword, right? Oh, that was close. All right, so... Bow and arrow. So, this is, uh... Yeah, we're going for it. There's a clover right there as well. Bring the berries. All right, time for the rebuild. At least to start. This is not the end rebuild, but that's probably like 9 or 10. Gonna go to the edge here. Oh. So, when the weapon it's pointing at shoots, it gets one damage, is the key on this one. So, I want it to point at this weapon. Is there any way to get the gloves on both of them? No, I don't think so. This bow is gone. The question is, well, I think the gloves definitely pay off a lot more. No, I like the left to right. It makes my brain hurt to do it otherwise. <laughs> it looks stupid. But that works as well. The bow does not have to be right side. I have these whetstones here, but like... That's not nearly as important as attack speed. I, I, I'm not gonna sell them yet, but maybe soon. What do I have that's chance-based? I'm not... <sighs> no. No. Not now. Well, this one. need two for the other one, right? Which is... Oh, wait. I guess there's another one. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Let's see. It hit for 24. 15 baseline. 
Did it miss? 95%. It hit pretty hard. Yeah, we get there. All right. Bow and arrow. 36 damage. That's pretty good. It's got 7 DPS at the end. Which is pretty solid. And that's just like baseline. Now, big decisions. This might be time for the piercing arrow. I need the acorn collar to make it work. Grove keeper. Chance to find unique items. Gain 40. 20 clovers. Gain 40 random other buffs. Does that say 40? <laughs> sale chance plus 8%. And it's on sale itself, which is a, a quite a portent. Well, let's try it. <laughs> it's trying to tell me something. Wait, star items. Wait, there's no stars on these. Oh, that's convenient. You know what? Part of the game is learning what items will make your brain hurt less. And this seems to be a pretty solid... <laughs> I'm not... Okay, so I generate clovers with the berries here. So what happens is when I reach 10 mana, the berries generate clovers instead of mana. Now... That's my only mana generation at the moment, is the issue at the moment. On top of, like, just starting out with them. It gives free clovers after each... Wait. After each battle. Okay, so this is gonna get... And I have two from this. I have one over here. So I start with, like, one, two, three. And it's just gonna keep getting more and more out of hand. So we'll see how it goes. Are there gem slots on each of these? It's odd you can't see... Wait, weapons have gems, like, bows have gems, right? Mm -hmm. I do. I'm actually gonna drop the whetstones here. In order to do this. And we're gonna reroll, mostly for space. No. This is an interesting one. Vampire gloves. Wait, does this combine with anything? It's on sale, though. <laughs> you know what that means. Ah, shit. I need to put it up here. Ah. <sighs> No, we need to put... I'm just gonna drop this for one. Banana for one. Gonna need more space. Also reserve the carrot. I'm not reserving that. I mean, it's not on sale. Okay. see how many clovers I'm able to get to. Because, like, it takes a while to generate that 10 mana is the problem. Like, before they start generating the clovers. Not that I think the super buff is the big deciding characteristic, but... Uh, this is bad. Yeah, I don't have the regen that I do with the other build. It's the issue. Oh, god damn it. I don't have space for this. The art full RNG. All right, praise be. 
We need space. Uh, that's not enough space. We need these. I give up on the... We don't need that if I'm just gonna have the champion of RNG gift. Oh yeah, we need the clovers to create the item. And then just I uh, uh, What is this? Uh, it's just like Doesn't this attack faster? It does. Ah! This is, um... Well... I'm just... Moving on. We're gonna see what the gift gives. He has the lantern for the regen. We'll see how it goes. The lantern reincarnates you with 50% and a bonus, so... Eh, it's close! Okay, we made it. And now... Orange... What the... F okay, so... I don't have Battle Rage, so we could just sell that one, right? Yeah. I can't... I don't... Well... Gain two... That might be worth... Now we have this. Weapon crits. Now we got some clovers in there. There's the flute. Which could work into things. Uh, Lifesteal. Or healing. At this point, I don't have any armor. Uh, there's a platinum customer card. Which... I guess. Um. I need to sell some for gold. I'm selling this. Alright, that'll get me the space. Uh. The flute sells for three. I don't think I can make the flute work. The gift and clover are legendary. That could work there. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was trying to make the build uncomplicated, and then this happens. Uh. All right. Here we are. Uh. Vampire glove. What about the flute? So, the flute. How does the flute work? Gain blocker tro clovers and triggers faster for each item under star. And I'll put it on the... So that would be actually quite good to have. But now I have to worry about this shit. I don't... Um, there's the clover, the gift. Flute works off lucky clovers. Wait, what? How would it do that? Uh, 
triggers faster for each star item. Can see. Oh, so it's just however many items it can see. I see. Ah. What a disaster. <laughs> ah! All right. This is my flute zone. There we are. No, wait. We could do... No, come... I mean, we still need space for the clover. And the present. Which we'll put over here. And that means we don't... Wait. Okay, just move this back one. There. More space for activities there. Platinum customer card right in front of the flute. Big count. Wait. No. Shit. Technically these. Yeah, this could go back here. I don't care. Alright, about the buff. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. It's fine. Banana. What a mess. Wait. Berries. Still better, right? I... To just have that option. I don't have any idea. More clover. And, uh... I, uh... I'm gonna sell one of the garlics. I need space! How about more berries? There. This doesn't make... This is the... Uh, uh. This is supposed to be simple! Let's give up on that. Another clover. Oh no. No, then I need that thingy. Okay. Yep, yep. Give me. Okay. The vampire gloves. There you go. Do I really need the platinum card? I don't. This banana is too thick. I'm just gonna rely on lifesteal, I guess. Um. <laughs> I did. Uh, what is fortune's hope? Crit chance. Okay, we can we can buy the short bow. Um. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of this, I could sell this, buy that, and we're gonna move this. I'm gonna put one clover there for now, for one turn. I don't need to buy clovers, I have so many of them. Why do I only get one gem? That's some bullshit. All right. <laughs> Time to just get dunked on. Beautiful. This bite. <laughs> like, all this complicated shit and still just get rolled. Oh no. But now I got another, but what? And then there's what? what? But I could get one of these. Isn't this like one of the upgraded versions? Yeah, but I don't want that one. I want this one. So we're gonna sell that to buy this, which now has to go in that spot. Um, no, ah, And then we can upgrade it with the next turn. Make sure we have the gift. With the fucking cards. Um. Find me space. Oh, I need this too. Do I? Crit chance per clover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Plus 3% for each luck. Yeah, I do kind of need that though. This takes up too much space, but it's only two. Okay. Okay, well... There's probably a way to lay them out that I can get all these buffs, but... There. Trash. Stop reserving that. It's not gonna work out. Get rid of that. I need more space. Actually, that's the spot. What are these shitty gems? Oh, they're just throwing gems at me sometimes is what's happening. Oh yeah, totally uncomplicated build. What? How is that? Oh, it's about to be epic. Okay. What is that? Oh, he's got a corrupted bloodthorn. I'm putting so much work in and getting nothing done. What is the crit chance here? 66. 
Like, I'm trying, but it's not enough. This is the most high effort, low reward build so far. How many? I have two try. I'm, I might even lose. Like, outright. Which I haven't done at all today. And gain flames. Ah, fuck it. Why not? Throw that one in. going with that. I feel like the acorn collar is more important than the vampirism on a lot of this at this point. So we're gonna do that. Um... Any pack. Wait. It's a disaster. All right. Fine. <laughs> ah. Don't want to have the food the wrong way. There's another. Well, this is about it because if I'm not able to get the damage now, well, I'm never going to get it, so... I've only got two tries. Uh, I got the acorn color and all that fucking shit. My potion only trigger if I'm out of stamina. Well, if you can chain it with the other potion. And also it was free. But, I don't know. I, everything's free. I don't generate gold anymore. I just get gifts. What am I gonna do with this shit? Alright, put it in the trash. This takes up way too much space. Back to the trash. Not another one. Need more space? Okay. Wait, I can move this up. Which means we can do even more. What is this? Attacks 10% faster. Okay. There's the lamp thing. More gloves. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I do now. Alright. More space for activities! Okay, so now, with the 20 debuff cleanse, I can make the free potion trickle-down action. Which allows me to have more space to put other random shit. I have a max speed flute. Um... I could probably lay that out differently, but I, I can't. My brain hurts too much. Thank you, like 300 foxes, as well. Oh, uh, that looks bad. There's a lot of dragons over there. Um. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was rough. Look at the blood harvester. They're really unique and special. Oh god, there's a wisdom puppy. Life steal. I'm gonna do the trickle down on this one. Wait, no. It's like trickle up. Like, I'm trying to life steal my way out of it, but it's so far. Every four seconds, gain 12 block and cleanse cold. Increase block gain. I mean, I guess. Why not? Throw it in there. Put the chili on. And throw some more clovers in. What does that do? Steel? That's nothing, but... Sure. Let's just keep going. I don't... Vampirical and it works on melee damage. Test. You guys passed. <sighs> yeah, well, I just thought I was attacking so slow the life steal wasn't doing anything. But it was so good, like, that was one of those that there's so much going on that I didn't even want to bother checking because it's just another thing. Like, ah, the fucking broom. I'm not doing it. We're gonna spike shield, swords. Make one a torch. Throw that on. Go. No, we're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat the devil out of him. It's enough. Enough for that. We'll go back to the generic build if I can get there. The uh, Bloodthorn sort of actions. I ran out of stamina. Beautiful. Mm. RNG just screwed me. Rough start. We're gonna get the strong health potion. Throw a banana in the mix as well. I can't fit a banana here, but... Just do that. Would be the fireball lady you pick pyromancer that's the next one i'm gonna do that stamina fanny pack what? Oh, it's it's just better overall. Okay. Grab that. What is that connected to? Magic torch? Have I done that before? Do I know what that is? I'm about to find out. I'm gonna let it go and see so I have it in the recipes.
Preserve the whip. Honestly, just go. Save up. My dead father is going to kill me. It looks bad. Well, actually the shields were holding up was the thing, but now the spikes. What is the magic torch? Use one mana. This and other starred weapons gain one damage. But I don't have any mana. That doesn't seem very helpful. The gem box as well. We're just fishing. All right. Enjoy the battle. I'll be right back one moment. Your dedication will be rewarded.
Did I... Did I crush it? Nailed it. I knew I had it in the bag. Just wanted to really highlight it. <sighs> Obviously. your carrots what does mana use one mana but I don't have any manas the berry would give me some not much it's effectively free I'll take the gloves we're banking up so much and getting so little done I think the piggy bank's gonna have to go. Yep. Adam is using mana. The magic torch uses mana to increase damage across the board. It's an interesting one. Now, I kind of accidentally built the magic torch. Um, but here we are, right? Taking the clover. Another fanny pack? Another whip? <laughs> I kind of want to do the magic whip. Kind of. And the bird. I think I have to drop the sword. The other sword. We're wasting too much time not getting... I need more space. <laughs> this gets dropped here. Okay, we're gonna work the whip into things. It's whipping time. Alright. Can I get it to use two fanny packs? Yes, it, well, it, it's kind of convoluted. Um. Just put it away for a sec. Oh my god. Wait, that doesn't. You know what? Just save this for actual useful items. Oh my god. I am going to need the stamina though. Do a double fanny pack for the banana. Packing bananas. It's a way to do it that doesn't make me look dumb, and I'm sure I'll find it. That confidence is important. If misplaced. Oh, yeah. I have nine gold. More gloves. Fanny pack. Um... <laughs> Drop it for the garlic. Where am I gonna put the garlic? Hmm. 
Now the berry's feeling useless again. Um. Definitely working a second set of gloves here. For the ultimate banana buff. So it's gonna have two sets of gloves. And but it doesn't have the double fanny play. Wait, there it does. And then we put that. Okay. If I had a second berry, this would make my life much better. That doesn't solve anything. A triple- wait. I gotta imagine geometrically in my brain. What a triple fanny banana. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta do the, it, it, all right. That's a triple fanny banana right there. It's a banana pack. No, it is the rest of the build that should change for the banana. Banana pack. <laughs> All right, go. We gotta whip it. So we keep buffing up the damage of the whip, which also applies the spikes as well, of course, which gives it more damage as it applies. So the whip starts really slapping, but I keep running out of stamina, but that's why we have the banana pack in order to try to alleviate that. But I need more bananas. The magic torch did way more... <laughs> uh... Well... The whip is for the bloodthorn. Alright, it's for the bloodthorn. That's what I said at the start. Acorn collar, for sure. And then we need the pineapple. What do I sell for the pineapple? We don't need the pineapple. It'd be very helpful. <laughs> Am I going Bloodthorn or not? Yes. Okay, I can get the pineapple anytime. Just do the regen. Roll for more inventory. It's perfect. Honestly, I don't want... Maybe I shouldn't be using the fanny pack on the weapons because I run out of stamina anyways. Like, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense to have him. Like, it's just helping me run out of stamina faster, which is not, like, ideal. Ah, shit. I want it to be Life Binder. Yeah. Yeah. Vamp gloves. We did this. We need more space. 
Can I really keep it on the sidelines? No, I can't. Shit. Not going into this critical phase. I think, it, well, the magic torch has actually been clutching it. space, all right? I'm aware. about the fucking gloves? <sighs> well, we're just gonna have to eat around, I think. At least I can get the gloves done. Um... What a mess. Oh, it's an absolute disaster. Oh, the ice cream doesn't see the whip. You're right. It's another disaster. In fact, the ice cream is now eating my mana that I need for the clovers. Thankfully, this person has a melee weapon, which means the spikes should help. I think we do have to drop the torch, though. How much... Is it my main damage? Yes. 88%. What do you mean 4%? What do you mean 13% damage was done with the thorn whip? You know, I think we need to just put it back in the bag until I get a hunger blade. If I get a hunger blade. Just put it... I need to put it away. You gotta put it away. It's not doing it, but <laughs> put away the whips. That's enough. Maybe later. I don't have enough. Sp I need to reroll for space. Thank you. There's another whip. I need to reroll for hunger blade. Berries. I'll take it. All right. We're just gonna keep the hunger blade or the magic torch out in the corner. Life binder. Hmm. I'm gonna reroll. I don't know what I'm looking for there, but I found something. 
magic torch there we can just jam this good so this side banana okay another one you know all right we'll take the torch and put it there no that gets in the way this is a berry situation There, fine. Double fanny. Yeah, it's a waste. As it is. Garlic... Berries. Wait a second, am I missing a full... I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright, fine. It's fine. What? For now. Fine. Mm. Perfect banana opportunity though, right? Good enough. Good, good. No, the gloves. Wait. The gloves? Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. So it isn't the weapons specifically. 35% faster at one point. No, it's not. No, it's better to just have it on the bear. Yeah, fine. Fine. Go. Fine. Fuck. What a the the goddamn shopping list build always is quite a Tetris experience. <sighs> He's got multiple mana orbs, so even though it looks okay, that could whoa okay, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit. The Fortuna's Grace ends up getting so much done. How did he set it up? Wait, nope. Nailed it. I'm buying the banana. I'm not sure why yet. No.
I know. Instead of these gloves. Where's my hunger blade? I don't So I get for forcing a build. Just selling the gloves. For space. In order to put what? Why, why are you... Looks like they have a whole plan here. Flame whip? Oh no. It's falling apart. There it is. My last chance. And a pineapple. <sighs> Goodbye, magic torch. You served me okay. We need to jam the whip. Oh no, I moved the life binder. Whip is so thick. It's just a weird layout. I'm just gonna, for my own sanity. We're gonna do. We're not gonna min max this one. I'm just gonna jam. Because I can't, I can't do it. Like. Next round we will. But I can't. Oh my god, a triple goob. If I win it, it's nice. Obviously, but... <laughs> it's like, not really any damage there. <laughs> okay. One of these as well. Alright. Finalize. Okay, I have so many fanny packs. He's going for the rainbow goo. Or die trying. Usually the second one, right? So the bloodthorn already... The cooldown is 1.7 seconds, which is quite quick. Which means you don't get that much value about 10% about faster activation. The banana is every 5 seconds, so it gets the most value. Um, overall, I think. And then the pineapple is also 4 seconds. Blueberries 3.5 seconds. Because it doesn't specifically, like... I'm not going to run out of stamina, though. So having a little bit of extra attack speed wouldn't be terrible, I don't think. Reroll for space. Yeah. I'm not going to buy any more plants right now. Alright. And there you go. so many fanny packs. It's like Disneyland. <laughs> okay. So first, what things don't... I'm gonna put the things that don't need a fanny pack or a tech speed buff in the corner. Which is the cap and the these things. Is there anything else? Everything else has positional. And there's one more leaf, but we'll just leave that. That goes in the corner.
double fanny. On the banana. Wait. Pineapple positioning time. Ah, yes. The real drama begin. I'm not tied to the gloves being there. They don't have to be there. Banana. Hmm. No waste. A potential. Wait, the life binder. Hmm, I forgot about you. Not good. the gloves for now. That ain't happening. Alright, we technically have enough space for it now. I can always... You can turn which angle it's facing as well, which is kind of relevant. I think that leaves like an extra bonus ish space. still have some more berries in there. I'm out of bananas. It's kind of a waste. Double banana? Hmm. Where's that single slot? Oh, I put it over here. We're gonna trade that out. <sighs> the problem is, I don't need the life finder in a fanny pack. So, Good. Come together. All right. Mm. I'll trade this out. Could put a berry there and get extra value. Okay. All right. Pineapple mixed. Carrot. Just do carrot at the speed zone. Another berry. Clover. Just bring one of the regen down. Mm. 
I don't mind that being the one. I forgot the Bloodthorn also counts as a uh, nature item. That's convenient. But also throws it off a bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, the acorn color as well. Doesn't really matter where I put it, I guess. It looks fucking weird, but pineapples maxed. We're not overlapping the penny pack unneededly. The life binder's maxed. We have multiple buffs on the blood thorn. Yeah, there you go. Okay. The grocery store is open! And then we have this just in the corner. Time to lose. Oh shit, he's got the double X! But he doesn't have any gems in it, so... From what I've noticed, the gems really tie the whole damn thing together. If he doesn't have the gems, then... Right, the gems are an indicator of how rich you are, and he's obviously not that rich, so. Healing. Regeneration. Vampirism. Mmm. I need some gems myself. I need to free up. I'll take it. And then we're going to roll for space. Right now, just... That goes in the corner. Everything else has a spot for a reason. I'm not doing another pineapple. For my own mental health. This could be a thing, but I'm not gonna have it till next turn. I'm not gonna reserve that. No, we got a fully stacked pineapple. It's literally over double the speed. Its default is four seconds at 1.9. We're done. We have two pineapples and one pineapple. I'm done with that. I do enjoy Zoom and Boomer. Survive. So this goes in the face. How is my stamina? Where's my regen coming from? I think I'll just slap that in. I, I'd have to rearrange so much. No, we're just relying on my single blood thorn. Too much thinking. They're gonna just stack some more food. Go back to the grocery store. See if we can pick up some more berries. I don't have any armor suck. Oh, a heart container. Okay, that we can make that work. More regen. Armor of Crones. The heart container gives constant regen, which the Bloodthorn uses to turn into vampirism. So, that's the focus of everything. Bloodthorn attacks every 1.1 seconds. Yeah, it's attacking quite quickly. Another fanny pack. All right, we'll put it in for the heart container. Also, you can put gems in it, potentially, but okay. This is not optimum, but I'll survive. I can't do it anymore.
I need this to be close enough. Oh wait, I can just put it in the... Okay, well that's... Yeah, that's pretty close. <laughs> you can just put it in there and they'll combine in the... I think it's always at least twice as strong, so... A stacked pyro. This guy's going for the rainbow goobs, right? I ain't working out. What do we got? Life steal gem. Your healing is amplified, rather. Yes, please. And... What's in here? Chance to resist poison? Why not? Gain two. I don't really have room for another banana. And I don't need... Like, the, the pigeon could be good, but it's so annoying. I'm working this shit. Alright. I'm not quite maxed on space yet. But we're getting there. Yeah, that's a better spot for that bear. <sighs> I'm gonna start with two vampirism and then every time I slap... He has so many weapons, which is why he's constant. He has three pads! Like, you can't... Is there like a... Is, is, am I missing something? He's just literally constantly out of scam. Like, the horn... <laughs> well, the spikes are, are putting some work in. I think the spikes did the majority there. I would be very wrong, I think. But... <laughs> they certainly helped. Alright. Yeah. We'll do it. I can find space. It shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be a huge struggle here. Mm, five mana. Gain shields. No, we're not throwing another blade in now. It's far too late in the game. It's a weapon that gains melee damage. Uh, the villain sword? The wooden sword was eating it? Well, this guy has mass dragons. This is the kind of build that has really screwed me in the past. The pyro. They just... It's so much stuff. Jesus. Uh, it's close. I actually powered through it. He's got another dragon hatching. Yeah, and he, the spikes did nothing against him, at least, because he didn't have any melee attacks. Hmm... Can buff that up. Is there? Oh, I can do another row. And another. Wait. I can just. There's no reason not to do that, I feel. Just get a bloody day. Because it doesn't cost stamina, so. Oh, it is the last round. Shit. Well, one can dream. Extra gem slot in the so What is this poison man, sir? Ah! Hey, wait, what is that? Pandemonium. Food activates. Inflict poison. Yikes. <laughs> hmm. 
No, that didn't do anything. It came together. Almost there. Alright. I think a flawless game might do it. But we got the build down. Alright, go, go. Did you know you can enable chibi heroes in, in settings? Mm-hmm. Thanks for the tip. I think we're gonna do the same, like, shield first. I don't like having an extra basic weapon, because they just feel so weak. Like, they just eat the stamina. It is free, but I... It's free in that, like, it costs the same amount as it costs to sell. I could trade it out, but... I think I lose this one, unless I get good RNG with the shield, because he has the banana. Comes down to the shield RNG. RNGesus? Ah, oh, yeah. There you go, the dream. Feeling lucky, pig. Nah, uh, pan takes up too much space. I'll just go for the torch and get the rock. He's gonna run out of stamina though. Wait, no, it's only the axe hitting. I see. The longer the fight goes on, the worse it gets, but he, it's still a long way off. Everybody going for the axe builds. I prefer Egg Scalibur from the pan. Hmm, interesting. You know, I feel like using the pig with the shield is the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty sick. I need more. I don't need more space. I don't- the whetstone, like, is part of certain builds, but it's expensive. It's the big downside. Huh. No. I'm working to- like, I got- I'm going for my- instead of, like, shopping around, I've got the build. And I'm, I'm trying to angle into it while still not losing anything on the way there. So we're trying to pick up all the pieces while still putting together as strong a uh, field as possible. A backpack. We got to pack as hard as we can. Yeah, so this goes from... Oh, wait. It's 15% multiplicative, not additive. Oh, that's kind of shit. Like, <laughs> oh, that makes it way worse. Like, I mean, it's just a convenient way to store it. Like, you get a little bit of extra money. But it's just a convenient way to store two clovers, I guess, then, and get a little extra gold in the shop. But it isn't, like, 15% nah, plus. It's 15%, like, it's, like, 35 times 15% more, which is not that high. And then... 
Opponent's healing reduced. Attack speed. Those are all useful. Banana. Roll for space. Find space. Be happy. Never happy. Becomes 40.25%. Yes, that's what it says. Nailed it. Yeah, you did a good, good quick math, though. It also says it on the thing. I <laughs> don't Just leave it there. I don't want to think too hard. I'm not super confident about this round. I think it partially comes down to how much damage I get from the torch. Well, if they have a bunch of melee weapons, I do a lot better, obviously, because of the spikes and the shield. So, going fine. Reaper seems pretty rough to scale up, is what I've noticed. Like, they take a while to get going and could just stall out before they really get there. Taking the berries. What is the percent on... Is the Hunger Blade an epic weapon? I think it is. I'm not doing the damn dragon before somebody points it out. Hmm. Accomplishes nothing at the moment. Healing amplified, opponent's healing reduced. Which do I care more about? 10% faster. I think opponent's healing reduced is better. Wait, how much healing do I have? Not much. I don't know how that works with regen because it's like integers. Like, does one, does after a certain amount, it just do a double? Or is it decimals we can't see? He does have the pan, so he does hit by spikes, which is good. Which I think is the only saving grace here, potentially. It's still... Uh... Barely. Yeah, let's see. If I didn't have spikes, would I have lost? <laughs> Nine. Well, by the end, the spikes had done. Nine damage, and I won by nine health, so... That's not exactly how math works, but like... <laughs> mm-hmm. Got another, uh... Yellow gem. Banana. I need more space. Why do I still have this rock? Twenty max health is pretty significant at this stage. What is mana for? Uh... Hmm. 
This is when I start debating whether I need to get rid of the shield. So, and we're starting to fall up. Like, this is... I'm not gonna scale. This is when the, the things need to start coming together. Or I need to start looking for other options. He doesn't have any of the later game items, so I'm okay. He's in the same boat as me, it looks like. Like, uh... Doesn't quite have, um... Any part of the longer-term build. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're definitely taking the space. I'm probably just gonna put the armor on. It's on sale. Yeah. As opposed to a small block chance. Yeah. The flute. I don't have space for all that. Put these in. Oh, it has two gem slots, which is nice. Take the hands. Give me a hunger blade. Okay, we gotta let's survive one more round. Hmm. Oh yeah. Quick refill. This is not final, but. slots does this take? Okay. Gonna jam those. No, here. Casual garlic. No, berry, please. Yeah. Banana. I ran out of space pretty fast. I have three berries in my pocket. Well, we need to combine. So, heal or garlic and berry. Let's see. I don't think the luck really does anything here, though. In fact, more regen. Do I need the gem? Mm. I'll keep it for now. Alright, this is a very dicey round. He doesn't have the full build either. He's got the axe working on things. Everybody's working their way up to it. Use the flute. Does he not have him connect or does it not show it? Did he like... Intentionally not combine. Two of them combined is always better, right? Like, I might lose. Anyways, because he keeps. Wait, how's he getting rid of my spikes? It's rude. Uh, I don't know, Kev. <sighs> Just take the life finder. If there's, there's the. All right. Well. I would love it when a plan comes together. Goodbye, torch. Don't sell the gem, sell the torch. 
All right, full reload. There it is. Well, actually, this is not the full reload because I still have to combine these two. So. So we gotta probably eat another round in that process. Potentially eat another round. We'll see. I still don't have very much space, do I? see one gem on the armor. I could have just slapped the gems and the other things too, but winning this won't be great, but kind of unexpected. Yeah. And I ran out of stamina because, well, I had to have both of them out in order to do the combination, but all right. I don't need another banana. I need more space. It's something. I'll take the gem. Refit again. gloves works for me there's no on hit chance right right Have to see what I do about the armor now. Because the armor takes up. No, stop! <laughs> so much space. Um. Almost impossible to find somewhere where it's not going to block. At least one tick. For now, at least. So I'm not going to bother with that. Hmm, can I do vamp armor? Oh, yeah. faster your healing is amplified on armor just slap those on
Yeah, we're still gonna miss a couple slots, but... Missing a carrot opportunity. Honestly. Might have to rearrange. We're not quite there on the build. It's quite good. Not great, I don't think. Yeah. Gloves. A problem. Move this down. No, the region's important though. How much do I care about gems? I still care about them. All right. What item will you use for mana? Well, I get more crit and accuracy with the berries once I get to 10 mana, which is instant. But I don't, I need the acorn cutter in order to get far more crit. So we'll see. Wait, my gems! Convert 30 health into 60 and gain two. Every three seconds, convert 10 health into 20 block. I don't, I don't know, Kev. Maybe. I'm not sure about that one, actually. Um. I'm not buying these till I get more space. Getting this. <laughs> I, I got a little more space in general. Just leave it for now. Okay. Look good on that last fight, too. So, I do constantly heal, so that does give me a pretty big benefit when it comes to the shield as well. Every three seconds converts. Uh, uh, it's eating. Can it kill me? Is the question I'm wondering. No, my God. Again. Thank you, I'm bored of it. I, I don't know, Kev. Hmm. I could have jammed into... I need more space. Get another carrot, I guess. That's... Okay, there's the acorn collar. So that's something. There's a fanny pack, which is more things. The acorn collar is now... Uh, I think the pig is not going to make it. More healing amplified, I guess. 
Reroll. What is this? Opponent's healing reduced. No, even better. Oh, I see the chipped. Mmm. Okay, we could just... There. That's a lot of shit. He's got a whole menagerie in there. It's not gonna save him. Yeah, by far the scariest thing is pyros. They keep stripping my buffs away and are not vulnerable to like my my efforts. I need the heart. I get more space. All right, and I don't know if this stacks, but we're taking it. Wait, what? Ah, oh, it keeps going. Kind of forgot about that. I think I'm going to do this. It'll drop one regen and mana from the life binder, but it increases the mana and regen here. So, feels like a fair enough trade. There's probably some maneuvering I could do to get more out of it, but... Or find a better spot for it, but... It's a bit cramped at the moment. I'm losing out on one of my bananas. And even the gem box. I like the gem box a lot. You know what? There. What is the passive? Gain one regen? Sure. Wait, no, what am I doing? Just put that. I can put this in here. I forgot that's a piece of armor, too. Five mana gain, gain two shield. It's pretty good. Poisoning me, but I can cleanse some of it. It's still gonna stack faster than I can cleanse it, but Okay Another beautiful gem Okay, if I move these around and use this as another Interesting. Like, I would love to use the pigeon, but... <laughs> Good luck. I'm buying the berries. I need more space. What do we got here? Another lifesteal gem? Honestly, I think combining these two, I'm just gonna put a berry there instead. And this, I need space. That, I mean, <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Uh, well.
Still seven gold. Ah, we're rolling. Isn't that the same one, but better? Can I not combine? It has to be like a lower quality. Does acorn bracelet? No, you can't put a gem in there. It's made out of acorns or something. I don't know. Acorn collar, rather. Okay. How did you get? Give me some of your pecs. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm coming around to vamp armor now that I have all this regen. Look at my shield. A berserker not going for the axe build is already a an odd one, isn't it? Wait, I ran out of stamina? Am I attacking enough? Or is he debuffing me somehow? Am I hitting a shield, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure where my stamina was going. Or am I just attacking so... The cooldown is one second. By the end of it there. Okay, so maybe that's it. Like, I don't... I just was literally attacking with my bloodthorn so fast. I don't think we can work a pineapple into this. I think that's just a bridge too far. What am I going to do with all these low-quality gems? There's some boots in there as well. I don't think the poison thing is very worth. I'm going to get another one of these. I'm gonna get another... We're gonna get the boots here. I'm gonna use that. Mmm... <laughs> now the acorn bracelet needs to stay. We're not mixing this up so much. I'll put it up here and we can combine gems up here. If needed. There's another shield thingy. It isn't the same flavor though, so like honestly I don't I don't want the green gems. I'm just reroll them. The poison or chance to resist poison, I'm already I still have one more gem slot. Oh, come on with these packs. Oh my god. I guess we'll just put a set of berries down here. Fine. Go. Arrange the leaf to have all nature stuff. the big gem out of the heart and combine the two for next round i don't i think they need to be the same like quality and then okay <laughs> oh this guy is eating me he has too many pets uh-oh what did he do to me He kept stealing my buffs and then slapping me with his lightsaber. That was so mean. The squirrels, essentially anti-buff builds, really, really do. Um, screw me. Unfortunate. I haven't even racked up 10 wins. Like, I'm over here with this fancy-ass build.
unfortunate. And now if I could get a four slot, we could maybe even... Oh my god. Another heart. <laughs> okay. That plus the potion. Healing reduction. Oh wait, I have another slot in here? Remove a buff. Too many gems! I don't want poison potion. What am I gonna do with this? Doesn't combine with anything, but I want it. Do I need more gems? I have one try left. Give me the vamp in the regen. I guess they're still... Wait. So, inflict... This is lifesteal. Healing amplified feels better? But... 45% chance to remove a random buff. You know what? Let's do that one. We can just put that in. Okay! In fact, we can do the triple nana here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of buffs to remove. So let's uh, get to work. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, it looks like whatever he was trying to do did not come together. Plus 5 to plus 18. That really doesn't feel like... Oh, because I lost... I get it. This is the first time I truly got it, because it goes up to 18 rounds. But if you lost less rounds, then you'd have more to go and get more rank. I'm a genius. And I figured it out only on my 17th game. Ah, uh, nothing gets past me. Seventeen times in a row. We can finally do the cap of discomfort. Everyone's favorite cap. No cap. Roll once. So this is just a slot in there, right? Yeah. I can just put this wherever. Fall. Good. Gems. What is this one? Gain to reduced healing. All right, well. I guess the only question is if I want to trade out some of the berries for regen. I think it's okay. Let's go. There's only one thing that scares me, and it's pyros.
Can we fit another heart? <laughs> it's a technical yes. It's a practical... I don't know, Kev. But dropping that banana is probably not ideal. I have one reroll. Any space? Nope. I have more gem slots now. Doesn't matter. Well, I guess it matters if you put them in armor or weapons, but otherwise. What the fuck? Like I said, pyros scare me. That looks scary. I don't know exactly what's going on. But... Like... Uh, it looks bad. Is Ow. It hurts. These dragon builds. Wait, I still have one life. I'm gonna make it either way. We're gonna get to the finish line. <sighs> Another berry. More space. Oh, I have another row up top. A clover. Wait, it costs two now? When did- when did that start? Okay, I'm- it's not a pyro, so I'm pretty confident. No, I just got poisoned 20 times, like, before things started. Oh my god, I'm getting stabbed so much. Ow! Ow! Jesus! A hundred poison! Oh, well. Let's see. Do I end up getting less than if I hadn't done it? I think so, yeah. It's a disaster. Cost of reroll goes up after two. Seventy-nine. All right. One final game for tonight. I'll take the shop, please. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully SC2 gets fixed tomorrow. I'm not holding my breath uh, from the custom game bugs. Well, hacker. Hacker's probably a strong word for exploit, but... So somebody found a way to essentially make it impossible to load the custom games list. You could still go to custom games via campaign to custom. They're essentially DDoSing. The, uh, so what happens when you try to load the custom game list is you load a bunch of stuff that isn't just text. 
and for some people it crashes their game for other people it's crashed their computer but for me it crashes my game and i just have to restart it fun fact so uh not not great you know what we'll start the gems early let's try it Rock for banana. It see I think it's limited to NA, but I don't see any reason why it couldn't be done on other servers is the problem. So that's not, like, the reason I'm not playing SC2 tonight. I'm playing Backpack Battles because uh, I like Backpack Battles. But it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Honestly, and I'm kind of waiting for the new patch. The new patch is a significant improvement to multiplayer, in my opinion. Like, for people like me, at least. I don't think it's going to change pro games very much, but... Oh, Widowmind visibility stuff. Like, I don't think it's going to be a now people will finally come back and enjoy the game. Like, the difference the difference between people who will benefit from the Widowmine changes is about, like, 3,500 to 5k MMR. Okay? Platinum, Diamond, some of, ma like, Masters. Not Serral. Not Max Packs. Not Potato League. Because they're still going to get hit either way. But, uh, but it actually is, like, a change for me. <laughs> Who's, uh, pretty fast, but not nearly that fast. Mm. I'll take this one. Yeah, Potato League will not be burrowing widow mines or anything like the visibility might help but the fact like that at the end of the day bronze league heroes will be defined by the fact that at any point you can make them invisible but yeah i do plan on playing a signet decent amount more on the new patch. I mean, I've been playing a pretty solid amount lately. I've been keeping it balanced between, like, when I get too frustrated and still playing. Which is no longer all the time every day. But like, if you don't play for a week, a month, it's gonna take even longer to come back. I think a lot of people don't play for three years and then come back play, like, four games do horribly kind of get a even though logically people know like you can't expect to come back and like be playing at the same level and also everybody's gotten better but like that doesn't stop you from feeling bad all right like just because i in your brain you know well it's unreasonable to expect to do well in this scenario doesn't mean it doesn't feel bad So. It's on sale, might as well be free. Yeah, for better for better or for worse. Oh yeah, I could have gotten the other clover for the the pig. Um, like StarCraft doesn't have like a new set coming out that changes up the entire meta, and you just have to look up the newest builds in order to be successful. Because a guy with twice your APM building just Marines will still be better than using whatever unit got buffed or nerfed. 
Just ask Beyond. This is way too much garlic. Vampires hate him. Hmm. their Reapers multiple times, but that's not really the point. And I think it's kind of outdated now to have a game that is... It's just not how games work anymore. They don't come in a box where sometimes you go online, but most people just play the game. It doesn't... Like, what is the most popular recent game? Helldivers 2. At least close to it. And... That the entire, like, the marketing and everything around it is... Every week there seems to be at least something to talk about. As opposed to people perfecting a certain thing. It's different because it's not a competitive game. Well, I mean... Per se. Uh, but... But that's, that's how games work nowadays. Back in my day... Um, I wish that's how they worked because that would have made content creation a lot easier. And I do hope any games in the future are a bit more, have a bit more variety as well, but. Hmm. Hmm. sure have you seen flying enemies that's my point the drip feed of content I'm not saying it's a bad idea I'm saying it is clearly the way to go I can only get you so interested in the new marine tank build <laughs> And yes, I consider a build that is significantly different than what 70% of people are doing to be new. But that doesn't mean it hasn't been done six years ago in this, like, for three months during, like, the IEM season. But that's kind of where we are in SC2. Disappointed. I mean, this game, but I guess both apply. I need more space. Gumio going back again? Yeah. So I tried a week some months ago of, like, just doing normal titles. Even still clickbait thumbnails, but, like, stat, uh, not even stat, like, Gumiho versus Cured. ESL Cup Finals. 30 to 50 percent less views like i tried different thumbnail 30 to 50 percent less like over a week like noticeable dramatic and intense drop off because all the people who are going to tune in for gumiho versus cure esl cup finals will also tune in for gumiho's new mech build you don't lose those people, or at least a, not a significant percentage. But you don't gain any new people with Gumiho versus Cure ESL Cup Finals, because... Eh.
This just keeps going. Not even close. Flawless. Is that the highest level one? I think so. It's eight gold. I need space so badly. I'm gonna start selling off my garlic. entire jewelry store down here um you know what there's <laughs> there's nothing to combine because they're all different qualities <laughs> Oh, perfect. Flawless is not perfect. Ah. It's like it just doesn't have that pizzazz. You know what I mean? Are the viewer numbers for SC2 events? I mean, usually you got like 10 to 50k, depending on if it's like day two or the finals. Though, regularly, like, many more views come from me or Loco casting them for YouTube. Usually in that order. Uh, some days later. Are the finals about twice a week? Well... There are actually three ESL Cups where top players participate, mostly Dark, who plays in sometimes all three, but at least two, that have $400 prize pools every Monday. So technically, there are three relatively major finals between top tier players every week. But you gotta space out those titles because people think it's dumb to be watching the finals every weekend. <laughs> But technically, some of them are the finals, but I just don't put it in the title because it's worn out at that point. After combining them all, you can't combine, you have to... And none of these have, like, combination after, well, that one does. But you can't combine lower quality ones, I think. I need so much more space. And I need the whip. Yeah, like quite literally. The... Of the last ESL and KSL Cups, there's like 50 replays, of which 32 to 35 are dark. Because he usually plays in all of them, and he usually gets close to the finals. And that means he was... <laughs> so... It drives on Miss Amprak on one side. Indeed they are. Because I was supposed to have the Bloodthorn done by now. And the problem is when I cast anyone who isn't at like that top five level, it's pretty apparent they're not. And unfortunately, kind of rarely. Like Lambo versus uh, uh, Clem the other day. Lambo's ranked like 17 in the world. But the difference between him and Cyril becomes very apparent when he's up against Clem, who's number two. <laughs> it's like, am I watching a Diamond Leaguer? No, you're watching like the seventh best Zerg player in the entire fucking world. Like, <laughs> I 
like, yes, sometimes he wanders his overlords a little far forward because he's distracted with, you know, 16 different drops. Like... <laughs> Well, hopefully we could save the day here. We'll see. Well, that's that's also the issue with Cyril has set this almost unrealistic standard. Yes, I'm complaining about Cyril being too good. But it is actually, before Cyril, effectively impossible to play Zerg like that. He's proven it can be done, but nobody else could do it. It's like Wayne Gretzky. I actually think that's probably the best comparison. Like, to a, a sports player. <laughs> it's like, he's just so far ahead of everyone. <laughs> This glove layout is not good. Better here. I'm giving up on the health potion, I think. And how much can I get it for? Are these not gonna combine? Unless I... Well, I need... Ah! If I... <laughs> okay. No. Fuck. We have this garlic... There. Okay. This banana is technically not necessary for that part of it. Bing. Oh yeah, stamina use is going to be a disaster on this one. It's going to make it very difficult. That gem actually is pretty decent on the field, base stamina regen. Alright. Ah, fuck it. No, no more thinking. Yeah, I do think that for, for like SC2, the observer UI and all of that... I don't think we should take it away, but I do think it makes it easier to point out mistakes like, oh, your upgrades were a little late or supply blocked a bit, which mistakes that the ver like Cyril doesn't make, but Lambo might occasionally. But and it really doesn't demonstrate the thin margins very well. But I mean, after 14 years hard not to have that information i'm not saying it should be taken away or anything like brood war style but it's still an interesting place well brood war didn't have it because brood war was made when vhs was still the predominant form of video entertainment so <laughs> Without that, we can't have you yell people. Well, 90% of HP. I, I'm not talking about health bars. I'm talking about, like, supply block time or, like, the production tab in general. Like, being so specific. 
Not like, how much HP does this unit have? <laughs> Health potion and blueberry. I think it makes strong health potion, which I don't really have the space for it at the moment without dropping some of Life Binder, unfortunately. So many fucking gems. I want to buy this. I don't know why I rolled. I could sell some of the gems. I'm not going to sell the gems. Wait, if I sell one, if I sell two gems. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like mana potion. But I'm getting such juicy gems. You know what? Let's put this on the field. Are we still maxed on life binder? Fine. Wait, wait, wait. Does this actually make it faster? Huh. Yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, okay, okay. You know, I could probably sell the stupid gem. Uh... Oh, no, he's got the double axe online. Let's we'll see. The vamp is good. 23 DPS. And count. Pretty good. I have 10 spike. Nice. So even without any of the survivability. Okay. I've got super gems now. Wait, can I get an even more super duper gem? The super duperest gem? What happens... When you get to armor, I need armor. Wait, is that going to make a perfect gem? I need something to combine my gems. Oh, how about this? No, fuck. I'm like, come on, come with me. Ah, oh, shit. I'm dropping these. And instead, we can combine them in here. Because I want the... It's just for moves buff, right? Not steals. Steals would probably be worth investing in, I think. But this is reduces opponent healing. This is attack faster and lifesteal. Now, this is... I'd rather remove my opponent's healing. So, the lifesteal... Well... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Still have two tries. Hey, it's me, your jewel crafter. Like and subscribe for a, a member's discount. And you can look at how shiny my gems are. I wonder how much healing the lifesteal did. Like the direct... The ruby did 73% of my heal. So pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh my, what is that? Opponent's healing reduced by 40%. Or 100% chance to remove a buff. That, no, the healing is too good. And the attack's faster with the healing. No, I think I got the build there. Take another berry. It's gonna combine. Wait, I could unlock. Yeah, mana potion, why not? Two vampirism? Sure. I'll take it. Oh no, more gems. 
What is this trash? I need more space. But why? Cause... Because I'm going to need it. It's kind of coming together. More gloves. Mana potion does not need to be... Yeah, there we are. Can do that. Pretty sick. Oh, shit. Oh, it combined my berries and now I don't have a nature item there. Ah, shit. Mmm. <laughs> more boots. I'm re-rolling. Banana! Nice. I'll take it. A little bit of extra space, why not? Because you don't need it! Never say never. We can go super gem. Doesn't this give base stamina regen? That's not too bad. Double up. But it's on sale! If you put the gem box off the board and, and before rolling, the gems will not appear. Makes sense. You gotta show off your membership card to the shopkeeper in your backpack. Otherwise, it's not valid. Oh no, he's poisoning me, but I'm slapping him. Alright, survival mode. I'm already pretty far in, but... Obviously. Another heart. Oh my. Lifesteal 20%. And attack 25% faster. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna go for another heart. My heart grew two sizes that day. Mm. There's a fanny pack. Let's sell this to fit the fanny pack. That'll just have to do. I'm not, I'm not doing like the pinpoint micro for it. ain't happening. No. Wait, why wouldn't I put that in there? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Acorns do nothing without clovers. Well, thankfully I generate clovers by having mana on my berries. Which, I, ideally, I would have had more than one by this point. <laughs> Usually, like, three or four, so it's a bit more noticeable. Ah, it's close! Please! There you go. Do you always choose survival? So far, yeah. Why not? I think we're gonna get this, and I might have to move some things around. 
Is this nature? Oh. Less convenient. Is there enough space? Yeah, there's enough space for this. I'd have to sell the banana for said space, but... I'd rather have it on the fanny pack. More reliable. Combine the... Do I have two smalls? What? Oh. All over the place. Is the red gem the same as on the heart? Um... What do you mean? Depending on where the gem is, it has different effect. Pyros are crushing. Bezel Bubba. <laughs> My stamina. Does he have. Oh, that's close. Because I have so much regen, but my stamina's gone. Yeah, the pyros just. are consistently crushing me. Like, as they scale up. One in the heart and the one in the top. One in the right? No, the, the blood amulet is a different item. It's not a gem. And also, depending on what weapon you have it in, and like the quality of the gem, makes a difference. Yeah, the pyro mage, it, it feels like it just scales exponentially. And at some point, like this point now, feels like... I'm- I'm behind. Unless I have everything perfect, a well-built one is starting to crush me pretty reliably. Eh. I would rather just have more berries, but... Here we are. Another acorn color. Eh. Fine. I see the double green gem, but I don't care about that. I need berries! I hate everything. Purple gen on the on the swords, the like it's every attack, it it steals a buff, but they get like 50 heat in 10 seconds. So like I can maybe get rid of like five percent of it, but it's not it's not gonna be enough. Like like they scale it so fast. It sometimes they start with like 30 something if they did it right. I'm just gonna take the crown now. means we gotta move the acorn collar. It's the last one, so we just sell. Because, uh... That's it on that. There's no point in more space now. Regen thingy, maybe. There you go. Oh, there you go. 
Let's see how it goes. I think it comes down to whether or not there's a pyro. Oof. Okay, wait. The Phoenix. Frostbite. Ice Dragon. Pumpkin. Pumpkin? Hmm. Interesting. But he does have a melee attack, which gives me a chance, I think. Oh, my buffs. He's taking my... Wait, is that the fro... Book of Ice. Where's my buffs going? Removing my spikes. Oh, no. I think this is part of it. Like, there's a lot of things that are kind of designed to counter the, the spike builds. Which are so good against everything else. What? Oh, he has the phoenix, though. So even if I get through it. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the phoenix hadn't triggered yet, so even if it looked good. <sighs> so close. Okay, okay, one more. We're getting the platinum. And that'll be the last game. All right. Just have to not lose, I think, to get five points. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go for the, uh, spike bow, though. That's just there as a placeholder. Let's get a freebie! Come on! There. Good job. Me. On RNGesus. Good job convincing RNG Jesus he wanted to get involved. I can just prevent the uh, combo there. Maybe I let it go through. Full pig. Reroll for space? Okay. I'll let it go through. We'll replace it with a hunger blade. Yeah, it too like more than one weapon eats your stamina a lot faster. So you can't necessarily even use them. Is the point? Damn. Not great. I'm just dropping the sword. Lucky pig. Pan? Mm, I, I found it very difficult to actually build around. Kind of annoying. One more fishing. Doesn't matter. They don't need to be next to a pig or anything. Rock you can sell for one gold, so might as well throw it in. Interesting. Put the mana gem in it. I think the mana gem is a bit of bait. Like, unless you know exactly why you're getting it, it feels like something that's doing it, but it doesn't really like it generates mana but if you're not using mana it's not like you're gonna get to 30 mana from the mana orb is the issue what is this fucking gingerbread jerry every three seconds use in gain gain flame how am i supposed to what happens if I don't have the flames? 
I can't generate flame. So. Like, that's like a pyro. I don't even know why that's showing up for me. It's green, yeah. I, I guess there are technically some items I can get that generate flame, but they're not great. Yeah, that's like a way later game. You get every three seconds. The item says so. Use. It says use. What happens if you don't get it? No, like, it says use, not get. I have no other start of battle stuff, so... If you can support it, it's a free win. Unfortunately. All right. It, hey, it's me, your jewel crafter. Here we go again. Okay, just... Real quick. It's getting too convoluted. Banana optimizing. Fine, whatever. The well, we both have a similar banana count. You're gonna run out of stamina there? No, it's banana support. But he's not. Well, um, nobody's dying. The fatigue will do it. Hopefully, the RNG doesn't screw me. Okay. There we go. Another fanny pack. I'm a fan. And I'm packing. Nice. Finally some berry. as well. Alright. Rerolling for space. I don't know what I expected here. I have two to sell. I have to sell one more, and then by that point it's not... I don't know what I thought was going to happen here. <sighs> don't, don't, don't touch that. Okay.
And he's going for the axe, of course. Those spikes are coming through for me, though. He doesn't have any other debuff stuff. Double banana buff. Hmm. I'll, I'll take that for now. We're going to have to rearrange it multiple times, anyway. <laughs> see steel life I'm gonna do the cleanse yeah anything worth buying just save uh, I'm wanna save up if I want to reroll on the when there's a better chance of getting the hunger blade Completely out of stamina over there. Should melt to the thorns. They're building up. Like, it takes a while to build up right now, but it's coming together. Slowly but surely. More space for activities. This acorn color. All right, I'll sell my precious rock for it. So banana in there. Mm -hmm. What is it? Round eight is when you get. Regen. Don't need more stamina regen at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. Almost too too simple so far. He's got a phoenix. Shouldn't have that much damage, right? Like <laughs> on attack, lose ten health, but you do reincarnate at the end. God, the pyros are a real struggle for me. And remember, he hasn't reincarnated yet. I think I lose this one. Yep. Well, my regen is slowly ticking up, but it's not enough. <laughs> he had the pieces of his build all together. Alright. 
Oh, perfect sapphire. Is it worth it? It's perfect, though. It's perfect. And I have a piece of armor there. I can sell a pocket sand. And I'm going to sell the green gem. And now time to go off the rails. Okay. Healing is amplified. Okay. Is this a nature weapon? Nice. At least I have that for now. a waste of some of it, but... Well, if we're gonna do that, why not just do this? Wait. Still dumb. Double dumb. Don't worry about it. It, it needs to be fixed. Anyways, we're not there. I don't know if we have... Isn't this a nature? This is going to be a rough round. God, look at potion seller over there. <sighs> also, remember, vampirism only works on melee weapons, which we learned the other day. But we're supposed to get a melee weapon by now, otherwise these gloves are kind of, um, embarrassing. Don't worry, next turn... I hope he- hopefully he can kill himself on the spikes because my tusk poker isn't doing it. A lot of regen, though.
Well, actually, no, we can just do that. It's on sale. There's the whip. Gotta buy it if it's on sale. Obviously. No, no, that can't go. This has to go. How much do I really need a weapon? Okay, we gotta sell this. I would love that helm, but... The whip drains stamina so fast that... I'm not even gonna bother. Thank you. Automatically relaying. Thanks. Honestly, I have I have the gems. I need that. I would love to. Co okay, I can combine them in here. Or somebody was screaming about that. And by screaming, I mean talking softly. Do I think I'll win this round? Like, are we looking to progress for the next round? Or do I think I can win? I think the play... It, I'm not optimistic. I don't have any... Like, the whip is not... That's I put the gems back in. Try to get a free one. Well, he doesn't have his build either, so I have a chance here. I need the hunger blade. We're forcing the bloodthorn, but... Oh god, that battle rage. Jesus. Ow. Well, I have two tries left, and I'm gonna need them. There it is. I'm... Kind of saved for now. Wait, okay, let's see if we can find. I don't need another acorn car. I need more space. Yeah. Will this work? Are these close enough? Technically. gonna need a full overhaul oh i have a slot i it's uh, the armor takes up so much space i keep feeling like it takes up that slot completely out of stamina neither of us has any damage i think that ends up hurting me more though i have the vamp so, that might be enough. Mm, he keeps healing so much. Okay, well. This is my promotion game. We gotta pull it together here. Alright. Well, it's not my promotion game if this keeps up. Where's my... Okay. I'm 
Where's my life binder? There we are. That's enough space for the armor, potentially. <sighs> no, I was gonna use it for like a banana or something too. Honestly, I don't know if I need the fanny... You don't need the fanny pack for the Bloodthorn. What am I doing? It already attacks so fast. Bananas, on the other hand. Do not attack very fast. In fact, they do not attack at all. Maybe if I put it like this. No. I don't worry about that yet. this one five shields gained where am i gaining shields from does that include or five mana gained rather it doesn't use your mana it just gives you the passive one healing is amplified no oh, come back attack speed do they actually have to be sitting right next to each other apparently I have 14 gold. Well, that simplifies things a bit. And vampire armor. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just keep that. And, well, all right. Maximize fanny pack usage. Hmm. 
Knife binder's full. Alright. Well, it's not gonna get any better. Wait. The piggy bank. No, that messes it up. And remember how the piggy bank is multiplicative, not additive? Yeah, stay away from me. Not not going for another 3% chance there. Might be okay on the carrots, but I'm just, 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 it's here for the luck. Okay. Now, time to loot, like, and I immediately face Pyro. Which has been melting me, and uh, this seems like it's going the direction I expected it to go, which is immediate face plant out of the gate. <laughs> well, the first time I've lost rank, but crashed and burned. Well, it, it took way too long to come together. Probably should have more than one build so you can pivot more realistically instead of just uh, essentially doing the same thing every time, but one more. No, no, we're trending the wrong direction now. But thank you guys for watching. You can check out the failures on the VOD on the second channel, and thank you for watching on YouTube, by the way. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to all the YouTubes, and I hope I made your day a little bit better. I think we'll be back to some SC2 first, and then when I don't want to use my brain anymore, I'll regret switching to backpack battles after. But uh, we will see. Otherwise, I hope I made your day a little bit better. I think we already said that, but it's still true. Um, otherwise, good luck. Have fun. I'll see you next time. I'll see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned.